take it away. Yeah, all right, guys. How's the mic going? Or even good evening in America. Good night in America. Yeah. How's it going? Um, so basically, this is Quest 64. This is honestly not the most marathon safe run. Um, there is a much easier version of this, which is a Japanese version. I just want to point out. I'll tell you the differences between the versions while we play. Uh, I'm just going to start off now. Um, so, where's the buzz here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, three, two, one, go. So, welcome to Quest 64. Um, which is a completely different game in Europe. It's called Holy Magic Sentry. Um, so what I just did it was I increased the tech speed to fast. So in this game, we're going to be using a move called Magic Barrier. And in the US version, it only lasts between two and three turns. And in the Japanese version, it can last up to five turns. And what that move does is it blocks all incoming damage. So you can imagine <laughs> being able to block damage for five turns is pretty broken. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Whereas only two to three turns, you can imagine, it's quite stressful. So, um, especially when you don't know if it's going to be two or three. Um, and things can two-shot you in this game. So is that's, it, it's not it, the most marathon safe game. Yeah. But is, it, is it consistently five turns then in Japanese? Wait, one sec. Is it consistently five turns in Japanese? Uh, it, it can go up to five turns. I think it's four or five. Okay. Yeah. So what, normally you wouldn't go here in a run, but what I'm doing right now is I'm doing some marathon safe strats. This is like an old turn of route. Anyway, you could do if you want to be a bit more safe. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up these dew drops in the basement of the castle. This loses about 35 seconds at the beginning of the run, but obviously this is a marathon, mm. um, and I want to um, have some safety for the first boss because the first boss loves to hit you for a lot of damage. And again, this is not the most marathon safe games. So anything that gets me through the boss is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna take small time losses here and there. Um, this probably won't be the most world record pace run because I'm honestly gonna pick up as many items as I can. And the goal is to complete the run, just to demonstrate how difficult this game can be. Um, but it's honestly one of my most favorite games I've ever tried to speed run. Um, I just think this game is so unique and. Yes, there's a lot of RNG in this game, but it's kind of like Pokemon, um, Mario Party speedruns. It's quite similar to where there's RNG, but you can kind of like manip uh, manipulate it and control it in a way that you can like be favorable to win, basically. That's why I like this game. It's got a really good and um, unique aesthetic as well compared to a lot of um, RPGs, particularly for its time. Yeah. This game was trying to compete with a few games. Obviously, like Final Fantasy was one of them. Um, I don't know. It came out at a bad time, and some people think it wasn't like completely finished, which is fair. But hey, it's fun. That's the most important thing about a game. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So this game is kind of like an open battle game. Um, whenever you enter a random encounter or a boss fight, you're in like a circle arena or a hexagon, actually. And the enemies will spawn randomly inside the hexagon. Um, you can either fight them within the hexagon or, or you can walk out and escape it. Um, so yeah, it's got like a it's kind of unique battle system. Kind of reminds me a little bit like Chrono Trigger in a way, sometimes. So here I'm going to get my first item outside the castle. These are the wings. And the wings, uh, when you use them, will transport you to the town uh, where you got the wings from. So right now, we're going to be using the wings here to transport. Uh, transport after we collect the items in this first town. But first, we're just going to collect some quick items again that we normally pick up. We're going to pick up an extra bread over here. And I'm going to get a spirit. So in this game, you level up um, by defeating enemies, but not just by defeating enemies. In the game, there are a lot of spirits scattered everywhere. Spirits are essentially the same as leveling up. So here I'm going to pick up a water level up right here. Like so, I just got a water level up. I'm going to use my wings and teleport back to the beginning of the town, which saves me walking all the way. Now I'm going to mash a and manipulate the RNG. Um, Hopefully I got the first frame right there. I think I did. Yes, I did. Nice. So I got no encounters. Oh, I got it. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. So I don't know if the RNG manip actually works with the dues I picked up in the castle, but that's fine. So normally what I do is I manipulate the RNG to get a wolf and give me an item um, as the first encounter. But um, again, I'm not doing my normal strats, so the RNG might be different as I leave the first area. That's fine. This is like the only place in your whole game where we can pretty much manipulate RNG at the start of the run, so... <laughs> it's worth trying. I'm assuming because afterwards the seeds just get a bit too... Uh, yeah. So yeah. the moment I look at the spirit that's right in front of me coming up, um, again, the spirits of the level up things in the overworld, yeah. um, the RNG just goes crazy. 
Because yeah. it's like a animated object and it just makes the RNGC go insane in this game. I can't see it because it's a bit bright. There we go. <laughs> it's a little bit brighter than normal. Like, what are you looking at? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit brighter than normal. I just know where it is. Yeah. It's fine. Green's a tiny bit bright for me. So, the first boss is pretty strong. Um, the winning scenario for the first boss is going to be level 16 water. And we want to get 63 HP. Um, the reason for that is because you want to take about 4 hits from the boss, uh, boss per item we use. But also because he has 200 HP. Um, he has 200 HP and he hits you between 14... Oh, nice, I got frozen. Classic. Good old Mara for luck. Yay. How many turns are going to last? Two turns. That's not too bad. Three turns. That's pretty lucky. Uh, see if I can get a skid here. I didn't get it. I'm lucky. <laughs> Classic Mara for luck. Yep. Of course. I mean, this time is still pretty good. Not a big deal. This is still fine. Yeah, so anyway, how safe is this run? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> uh, just because of the bosses. And in the end game, the enemies can pretty much free shot you. Um, but I'm going to do my best to reduce as many risks as possible while doing it. While going fast, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's hard. It's, it, a, it's a very tough balance, I think, in a lot of us. This game, anyway. the problem with this game is um, you can go fast by being greedy really often, but you get punished really hard in this mm. kind of game for being greedy. This game does not mess about. Like, right now, it's like, yeah, they hit me for, like, two damage. Eventually, they're going to hit me for, like, three quarters of my health if I mess around too much. The beginning of the game is a, it's a bit of a walk until the first boss. The first boss does not mess about. <laughs> I guess, I guess there's a lesson is, uh, yeah, imagine this, exactly this, uh, but yeah, taking as many hits, it's just that the hits do significantly more damage. Yep. So right now you see me avoiding a lot of fights, I haven't actually fought anything. Um, I want to talk about EXP real quick. So a lot of things at the beginning don't really give me good EXP for the time you spend killing them. So at the beginning of the game, uh, you get up to 8 EXP per enemy. Um, the rabbits give you one, they're useless. They also have really high agility, so you end up missing them most of the time, so it's not even worth <laughs> fighting them. The wolves gives you give you free XP each, which is not bad. The crocodile gives you terrible XP, and he has loads of health, and he's very fast, as you can see. Yeah, yeah. He, he's a great encounter. He's got a big mouth. He's a big mouth. Hungry hippos. <laughs> yeah, so that guy's not worth fighting for obvious reasons. <laughs> and, um... The wolves are not bad because you can get up to f uh, five in a pack, which is great. The rabbits are not bad to run away from though, as you can see it's pretty easy to get away from them. Um, the slug enemies, the man-eaters, give you four XP each, which is fantastic of course, that's yeah. good. But, but they take two hits to kill, which is slower, uh. right? And if there's a mob of three, it takes two extra turns to kill them. So then it becomes less value to kill them because it takes longer to kill them, yeah. and it's only one XP extra. And you're leaving yourself open to attacks anyway. Yeah, however... Oh, I already got one. Apparently, I got a dewdrop. Oh, I have three! I, I forgot I did yeah, the safety yeah. shreds. <laughs> I'm so used to going in there to get the, the, the item. Whoops, I forgot. I wasted six seconds, not a big deal. Oh no, six seconds. Oh no. People leave. Yeah, so basically... Oh, that's encounter you could have skipped. Yeah, so the forest coming up has better encounters. There are these bats that can die in one hit. They give you four XP each. So you can imagine that's already better. I can't see. There it is. It's so bright. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that's yellow or white is like blinding me. It's not a big deal though. Oh, my alarm's going off. Ooh. Let me to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sonic Adventure's hey, over, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, Fuzzy, you missed, you missed Sonic Adventure. Although so did everyone else. So did my dream. Yeah. Ah, it's all good. I actually just woke up before my run. I had a nap, so... Yeah. Um, so basically in the forest, there's those enemies. You have these flowers that give you 80 XP each, but they take three hits most of the time. They're also extremely laggy, but they're still really good XP. You have these wolves that die in two or three hits. They give you five XP. Um, they can also drop bread, which is the item that heals you. All right, we're coming to the forest at least. And there's an enemy called Mario Nasty, um, who doesn't give you good XP. However, now I'm going to get into something called uh, HP and defense farming. Um, so you're going to see me take hits on purpose here when I can. Um, I want to get to 63 HP, which gives me the perfect HP and defense for the boss. What's well, a nice RNG, no encounter. Very nice. 
Well, I just got to the spirit. That means I hit the enemies for more damage. That's the best encounter in the forest. Nice. That is EXP City right there. Ooh. So these are the guys that give you really, really good XP um, for how much they damage they take. So they're gonna, because I'm only level 9, it takes me two hits to kill them, which is unfortunate. They can also... Oh, nice miss. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to see miss a lot. Um, you're also going to laugh when I miss. So don't worry. You'll, you'll have plenty of uh, comedy value eventually in this run. All right, excellent. This is going very well. Mm. Oh, nice. He did the weak attack. Okay, miss. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Oh, good well, RNG. Good miss deserves another. Oh, it, it did deserve another. And I take tons of damage. Oh, that was a... <laughs> yep. Welcome to Quest 64, ladies wow. and gentlemen. Hey, okay. Good fight, good fight. Thanks. That's fine. As long as I don't use my items. That gave me two levels and an item. Nice. So that hey. bell right there is very good for farming Layla. So the bell freezes enemies. Um, so what? I got a lot of XP there. That was 20 XP in one fight. And it was fast. That's amazing. Nice. Oh. Oh, it's the gang. It's the, it's the Scooby gang, as I call <laughs> them. This is the worst encounter in the forest because... There's three enemies and it's impossible to deal with them. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get hit on purpose to get some HP. So in this game, when you take damage, you gain HP in defense. Um, if I just pause real quick, you can see my defense is 9% uh, to a level up. Just to show you guys, and so is my MP. It's a secret stat you don't see on the main screen here. Um, and your defense obviously makes you take less damage, right? Oh, this is a good fight, but my HP is a bit monka. I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to run away. There's plenty, plenty of fights to go. There's no, no reason to be greedy in a marathon. In a run, I'd probably go for it. <laughs> Plus, it gives you the opportunity to, to heal yourself anyway, because your MP uh, recharges. Yeah. Going to so I just healed in front of a chest and I opened it. Uh, in this game, you can cancel your heal animation, the end of it, by healing again using another spell or... Picking up an item. So what I did there was I used the chat. Nice. I got lucky Ooh. again. So now I can one-shot these guys, which is even better. So this is very lucky. This is what you want to see. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to waste turns on purpose until they all approach me, like so. I'm just pressing A and Z to do that. Uh, that guy's a little bit far. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can't hit the guy at the back. Here comes some damage. Bam. That's fine. Do the weak mm. attack. No, not the strong attack. Ow. <laughs> okay, good fight though. Sweet. The bat approaches you very, very slowly and there's nothing you can do about it except walk I mean, down the sleep. It's not a big deal if those things approach slowly because those are, again, the best encounter in the forest. So now I need one more level up um, before the boss. That's fantastic. And that gives me an opportunity to use other encounters to farm HP. But ideally, I want to see a Mario Nasty or a frog. But unluckily, we're passing the area where the Mario Nasty spawn. So now we're going to rely on one encounter, which is the frog to appear. That is not the frog, but that is a very good fight. That's uh, one of the easiest XP's in the forest. I'm going to fight it. It's one of the hardest though, because they hit you pretty hard, as you can see. Now we have level 3 water, so we have more range. Nice miss, that's huge. Bam. Oh. oh. That's fine, I hit, I hit both one, one time each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works out. Nice. You both dead? Yeah, that's fine. So now we just gotta deal with one, which is way easier, of course. Alright, I might have to heal here. How much are you healing me for? Mm. Safety strike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't like that would have taken you out if you I don't. I don't want to risk it. It's fine. Yeah. So what I do normally is I use one of my breads to farm defense. Um, because what I do is I stay in an encounter for a long period of time, taking damage on purpose. And I heal as much as possible during that fight to get to 63 HP. But right now, we haven't encountered something that gives me defense, which is concerning me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Alright, this is a really good XP in fight as well. So I'm going to take it. Because I want to be level 17 for safety strats. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fight this. Extra fight. I'm going to kill this. This thing will take two or three hits, depending on the uh, damage roll. Nice lag, right? <laughs> Beautiful. He's gonna come to me. I'm gonna kill both. Or I'll miss. Oh, yeah, or not. Yeah. Ow. Okay. So now I should be level 16. I already picked up. Yeah. All right. So now we have the exact amount of XP. We do not need more XP. I said we do not need more XP. <laughs> I mean, I might as well take it. Yeah, such a good. I might as well, well. take it. It's yeah. the best encounter in the forest. 
This only takes like 15 to 20 seconds to kill, and it gives such good XP, you might just take it at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be the perfect time for a donation, right? Yeah, go for it. So we got a $10 donation by Dregon saying hello from the crowd. I have to head to bed, but I wish good luck on the run and respect for running such a marathon unsafe game. It is truly gamey. It truly is gamer hour. <laughs> Much love. <sighs> that was but pretty gamer hour. It's stressful. <laughs> <laughs> this game is really testing my patience right now. <laughs> All right, so fun fact, I do technically have the stats to beat the boss. It would just be extremely risky. Uh, I'm going to farm like two or three encounters to see if I can get a frog to appear because this is a marathon run. And I'd rather do marathon safe strats for obvious reasons. Yes. Because uh, if I die here, I will lose like 50 minutes. And I kind of don't want to lose 50 minutes for obvious reasons. Nice. That was really good execution. <laughs> I mean, 15 minutes also known as the entire run so far. All right, so I've, right now I have an extra level, which is fantastic. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to walk towards this area. It has no encounters. I could go right to the boss right now. In a run, I would definitely take this to the boss. But um, I'm only 15 minutes in, which is actually amazing, by the way. Um, I'm going to try like three encounters to try to get a frog. I really hope one appears. Also, you see how I'm healing to escape the battle. Um, again, cancelling my heal animation. So I'm just going to farm. I want to see if I can get a defense encounter. There's a few of them, so we might be alright. All right, come on, Chaz. If you believe hard enough, we can manifest a frog. That's not... I want. <laughs> Please, game. Give me right. a frog. Manifest harder, Chaz. I'll try for two minutes. And if I don't get it, I'm just going to go to the boss. Which is a little bit scary. I really don't want to do it. Oh, game. I don't need this. <laughs> I don't want to farm more. Yeah, I'm just trying to get um, an encounter with multi hit attacks, basically. I need that to farm defense. And uh, you can beat this game without farming defense, but boy, you're in for a wild <laughs> ride. That's not it either. Oh, please, game. So, a frog's just like a lower encounter, or are you just unlucky? I'm just getting. I haven't encountered anything that multi hits me yet, which is extremely unlucky. But I'm d again, I'm just doing this because Marathon say yeah, yeah. You can definitely just go past this and farm it after. Um, but I kind of don't want to die to the boss randomly. At this point, I might have to just take the risk. I don't want to, though. Because the thing is, this side of the forest has less... Um, it doesn't have Mario Nasty spawning, which is one of the encounters I can farm. Um, it's just named the enemy, by the way. I'm not just making up that name for fun. <laughs> <laughs> he actually is called Mario Nasty. Oh, there we go. Hey. Sweet. So I'm going to farm now on purpose. You're going to see me be in this fight for like one to two minutes. So we lost like two minutes already. But again, I'd rather just make sure we get for the early game. So we're going to take... Can you can you not do that, please? <laughs> <laughs> He's not meant to walk out to me from that far. Sometimes the enemies troll in this game. All right, this is what we want to see. So we're gonna, you're going to see us for a few minutes. I'm going to farm on purpose here uh, to get some defense. So we're going to be in this for a little bit. So, so it's every individual hit. Feel free to get there. a cup of tea real quick, you know. You, I'm just going to be taking damage yeah. okay, for like a I'm few minutes. Chill here. Yeah. So I'm going to get, I'm going to do this all the way until you see 63 on the HP. And that's how you know I have enough for the boss. We do this in runs. So this is what we the world record strat does uh, for both first and second place. Um, the reason for this is because, not just because of the first boss uh, hitting you like super hard, but the whole game hits you really hard. And the theory is like this, right? If you take less damage from everything throughout the whole run, uh, that means you can take more hits, right? Um, which is great. And you don't need to heal as often. Yeah, so one, you don't have to heal as often, which is fantastic. Two, um, not just hitting less often, but also, um, how do I explain it? Um, we have a move later on in the run called Escape, right? And Escape has a 55% chance of leaving the battle. So that's great. So you can run away from battles, right? Yeah. Um, but let's say it fails. You can Which keep you using it over and over. Yeah, yeah, half the time, essentially. Or, you know, 99% of the time in reality. Yeah, yeah. Let's be real here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, because of that, you want to run into enemies quite a bunch. And you're going to be taking a lot of damage. So every time you hit escape, you save a lot of time. So and this little farm at the beginning is nothing in comparison to how much time you save with escape. And, and also trying to farm up the fence, like the amount of damage that each individual hit of these multi hits is absolutely nothing compared to like even the basic enemies from earlier are still doing like 8, 9 HP per attack. I'm going to sacrifice one of my dues to guarantee this. 
I should be fine though. I've used one bread, which is a little bit meh. Um, I should be fine. So I'm entering the boss two minutes slower than I normally do. I usually enter the boss about 17 minutes, but I have one extra level right now, which is great, of course. That's more damage. Um, and I'm going to get the defense I want for the boss room, for safety, for the marathon. So I apologize for this not being the most interesting section, but this is the only time I do this, I promise you. There's no other farming like this, this in the whole This run. is the only grind in the game. Yeah, this is the only grind in the game and it takes two minutes to start a run. So it's not, I even, mean, a, yeah. not even a big deal. Yeah, that sounds perfect. Yeah, just getting out of the way just feels good. And the plus, <laughs> getting through the first boss is like, yes. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> nice move. Yeah. <laughs> it's meant to be a heal. I fingered it. I think the thing is, like with a lot of um, RPG speedruns anyway, is you do, there is always an inevitable uh, amount of grind unless you find like the one broken tactic. So you might be um, noticing how I'm doing this as I'm walking in a circle. Walking in a circle makes it actually hit me. And I'm also pressing A and Z right away. So I'm saving a lot of time by doing this pretty optimally. If you do it slowly, you lose like three minutes. It's like not as easy as it looks. And if I go too close to them, they approach me. So. <laughs> and if you go too far, you escape. Exactly. I'm nearly done. Uh, I think it's like two more. And we're out of here. Nearly there, Chad. <laughs> As soon as we see 63, we're, peep we're leaving right. out of this. There it is. Hey. Right. We're done. Now we can go to fight the first boss. All right. Welcome to quest 64. Oh, they, they want some more. They want, oh. they want a piece of Oh, these. they weren't happy about that. That's fine. They do like no damage. Oof. That's fine. Okay. I'm just going to stay still. They don't hit you if you stay still. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's fine. It looks but, scary, but I mean, you, you like, literally, I'm not, I'm not pressing You're literally anything. allowing them to hit you. All right. So I'm going to walk around for a second. I'm going to heal. Yes, or the please. boss room. <laughs> Alright, we're pretty safe to go now. So we should beat the first boss and get the run going. I'll do the final deal with the chest. I want to have full health. Every single bit it has to be full. I'm not messing around this game. <laughs> Heal, please. Well, right. It sounds like this game isn't going to mess around. Alright, so I'm going to pick up the MP item first here. I need to be careful and walk around this room because I could activate the fight early. That would kill the run. Let's not do that. Okay, good. I'm just playing it extremely safe. Like, <laughs> I'm cutting that as tight, like as close as I can. I'm not messing around. Uh, All right, this boss is extremely not marathon safe, but I'm gonna make it as safe as I can. So good. Okay, we didn't activate the boss by mistake. That's good. That's stress relief. All right. So I'm gonna enter the fight in a very specific position. I'm gonna use a move called Ice Knife, which is a very safe strat. Um, this is a good way to get runs going though, so you face right here, use Ice Knife, that's 15 damage, he has 200 HP. I'm going to dodge his attack and we're going to repeat over and over. 28. Nice. Nice, 41, good start. There's the miss, classic. Press 64 moment. Okay, um... 55. 55, yep. Could use my MP items, safety items. So you can see he's just doing the same thing over and over, which is why we were using it. 68. Okay. 81. 81. I need to be in the middle of this every time. Okay, nice. 96. Nice. 110. Oh, he's moving towards me early. That's not a big deal. Should be fine. Yeah, we're fine. As long as I stay in this position, I'm completely fine. Good. All right, should be good. Let's see. Ah. All right, let's do it. Nice. Good. Nice. Ooh. Very good. I'm going to play a bit safe on purpose. I'm going to hit him from max range. He has a high chance of doing the beam attack. Yep. Oh, beautiful. Seven. Beautiful. He's really, he's like got like 40 HP left or something. Uh, he's, on, he's done 177 to him so far. Nice. nice. There we go. Good. I didn't use a single healing item. That makes the run very marathon safe. So that's awesome. But I did use an extra MP item, but I just wanted to... I just yeah, played yeah. it as safe as I could. So right now, um, we're like five minutes behind. That's fine. Like I have an extra level, so I save like a minute later. So I'm gonna use exit here to teleport back to the start of the forest and the run begins. 
So now we get to play the game for a whole hour because I didn't mess around. Yay! Good for the marathon. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have the right stats. We have the uh, one extra level, which is great. And we're good to go. Even these guys want to give me some free uh, defense, so why not? Ah, oh, man. Brooks is super on our side. This guy's taking this time. I mean, he just wants to give us more time to appreciate the music. True. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm just happy to get past the first boss and there wasn't a train wreck. Because if he walks too close to me and uh, I have to find him up close, it's not marathon safe because you saw how much damage he yeah, did. Yeah, close. yeah, he was chunking. He hits you for like 14 to 17 damage per hit. So. Yeah, yeah, you, you basically have five hits <laughs> against him. Not a good encounter. Can I dodge? Nope. Sometimes you get an encounter against this wall, it's pretty unlucky. Alright, two turn escape, not too bad. Not a big deal. Oh, get out of the way, please. <laughs> the tree is tree, the final boss. Yeah, the tree's just getting in your way. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go towards the second boss, which is uh, Zeus. And uh, Zeus is all the way at the end of the blue cave, which is pretty far away. And we need to prepare a lot. For Zeus, we need to have Avalanche, which is our next move we're going to get. Oh. Uh, Avalanche takes 24 after to get. Um, but before that, we're going to get 20 free water, and that gives us a move called Escape, like I mentioned earlier. These guys can freeze you, so they're pretty annoying. But luckily, we didn't get frozen there. Um, yeah, so Avalanche is the best move in the game. It does tons, tons of damage, but the rocks are randomly placed. Um, but they're not completely random. It's based on how far you are and the axis, the axis of the boss. It's a little bit complicated to explain. Um, but there are tools that have been made on Bizhawk that can kind of show you where the rocks are going to hit. Um, so you can kind of learn how they work. Um, Shouts to Scholar D and uh, Kirk Q for that. So. so does that let you manipulate them or just get an awareness of what's going to happen? Um, you can't really manipulate where they're going to go, but you can learn how to make them more likely to hit, like percentage chance to hit. Yeah. Like um, Because you can learn how far away from the boss you need to be and what kind of angle you need to be from the boss for them to have a higher chance of hitting. Even though the RNG where they kind of get placed, but they get placed within a certain area, like in yeah. distance and angle. Yeah. Yeah. So it's RNG but controllable within a certain area. It's hard to explain that. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, You'll see when I'm fighting it's... the boss, you're going to see me moving to like very specific positions and doing certain things to increase my chances basically. So every time I get hit again, I'm increasing my defense, so it's not that bad, taking damage, even though it looks kind of bad. I mean, yeah, um, again, given the, the rate that you can heal because of how yeah. quickly your MP... And also, every time I heal, I increase my MP percent, like oh, HP as well. So um, what's going to be good is if I heal a lot anyway, I'm going to have an extra MP going into the third boss. Uh, and the third boss, if I have an extra MP, I get to use one extra move per item. So it makes the bosses a lot safer, even though you lose time healing earlier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So taking damage and um, taking damage and using heals and attacks extra is not always a bad thing in this game. Like sometimes it's actually a good thing. I mean, what doesn't kill you is quite literally making you stronger. <laughs> true. Very true. Blue goblins are good to see because they, if they're far away, they do this a good move. It goes, eh. <laughs> and then you get like a free turn, which is nice. Yeah, so not only um, is the game just about like fighting things and running out the circles, but there's also different enemy patterns. Let me just heal for safety, because uh, there are plants that hit you pretty hard here and I'm not going to mess around. So now I'm level 23 water, you might notice. I'm going to attempt an escape here. I didn't get it. You're going to see that a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, there's three goblins here, so I'm just going to take advantage of this and use the goblin to escape. Because the escape animation takes about the same time as me using the escape move, so you might as well just you wait okay. for the goblin to take his turn instead. So here's the first example of me just running into things. And you're also going to see a good example of me getting trolled. So don't worry about that. There we go. Hey. There you go. So there's our first escape. That saved a lot of time because you can see I spawned in a really bad area there in that fight. And instead of spending four turns to get out of it, I got out within two turns. Also, that was very unlucky because I'm right next to the spirit yeah. I want to pick up. All right, so now we're going to start leveling up Earth. Because, you know, Captain Planet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
And whenever, I mean, whenever, I mean, whenever, whenever I think of, of it, <laughs> whenever I think of the spirits in this game, it just reminds me of Captain Planet. Because <laughs> Earth, Wind, Fire, Water. Yep. Yeah. And there is not a fifth one. This is, this is Quest 64, Captain Planet. None of this. Pick it up, please. There we go. Yeah. So the game's going to go a lot faster now. And uh, we pretty much set up for the whole run in our forest. And we got free safety heating items right now, so that's pretty nice to have as well. Pretty secure. So if I'm in like low health danger, I'm just gonna use the bread. Um, I now have a lot of the bread bread in the run. We call it um, this is a meme name of it called Brian's Bakery. And uh, what I normally do in the world record attempts is um, I use the bread to heal in the first forest, and two of the enemies in the first forest can give you bread. So Brian just loves his bread. He's just <laughs> always picking up bread and using bread. He's like literally running his own bakery. Nice. Good enough. So you might notice when I heal, I'm always chaining heals. You never see me doing a single heal. And uh, again, because you can cancel your heal animation, it's a lot faster to just chain things versus using one heal only. Or you're in front of a chest. Then it's worth healing like once like this right here. I get a quick single heal and I open the chest. So I skip the animation regardless. Because if you're going to heal anyway, yeah, yeah, you might as well just do it there, right? Instead of doing it randomly in the overworld. I think it also makes sense as well, because uh, if you're aware of how much uh, uh, damage the enemies can do to you, then you can still remain perfectly safe while uh, not healing initially. I love these enemies. <laughs> Anything that goes, is good news. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll get some Waluigi exactly in the background. Exactly where I was going. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting lucky. These guys don't usually appear this much. Nice. This is gonna. This has been. You're great. Well the warps, actually. This has been a great forest so far. Can't complain. Yeah, I, I saved a lot of time here. I think this is like as fast as my PV. So. <laughs> ah, really lucky. Did, normally you don't just get these blue guys. I normally get a lot of trees and mummy guys. But this RNG was insane. <laughs> that was a very very good forest. Damn. That was a fantastic forest. I kind of made up for the two minutes at the beginning, for sure. Awesome. So what was nice about that forest is not only did I escape those fights, I got to keep my HP. And in this section, ideally, you don't want to heal because when you get to the boat, you get a free heal. So the boat's coming up in a bit. Um, and again, anything here just gives me free defense in a way. So taking damage, not a big deal. It's actually good for us. Yep. When you play this game, expect to miss a lot. I'm gonna take damage on purpose here, because it doesn't matter. Yeah. And we're out, nice. So I saved the turn there, that's awesome. Is it worth talking about the story at some point? I think we've... Uh... There's, there's not too much of a story. <laughs> there. There's a little bit, it's not the best to explain. Ugh, I couldn't even escape in two turns, I got trolled. So I thought the, the white line that was closest to me. Oh, come on. <laughs> Wow. One step encounter, the classic. Yeah. Don't no steal. That's fine. <laughs> okay, if I go to like 30 HP, I'm definitely healing. <laughs> I'm not taking a risk. Uh, not the runs this good. Yeah, so in this game, uh, every three seconds, there's an RNG counter check to see if you get an encounter a lot or not. So that's, how, that's why I got an encounter there, like, right away. <laughs> oh, okay, because that was just where your cycle went. Yeah, it's exact. that's the first time it can uh, give you an uh, encounter, and it's just like, yeah, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, miss. I believe if you have, like, seven TV or Frank faces or whatever, I have a missy mode. So if you feel free to spam it every time if you want to laugh at me. <laughs> I'll play it safe here. That should be enough hell. I mean, this has been a great section. Yeah, I, I might as well just heal. I got plenty of health now. Okay. So I can just run through things. I see your ship yonder. This can still be a really good run. Like, I only lost a little bit at the beginning, but again, I set up for later, so it doesn't lose as much time as it looked like. This music is so catchy. I know, right? Reminds me of, um, like, a lot of the Dragon Quest uh, stuff, the, the sort of incidental music. Are we not seeing a Frog King? Surely. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. The, 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 the star appearance. Yeah. I'm just gonna run away from this one because I'm right next to the, the boat. So I might as well just wait a tiny bit instead. Give me some free defense. One? You can hit me three times, wow. bro. I wanted to get hit more than that. Oh, well. It's frogs. That's fine. All right, so we're at the boat now. We're in the next section of the game. So we're gonna teleport to the next area. 
where the enemies will come significantly a bit stronger. Um, and yeah, uh, we're going to visit our next town to pick up the wings uh, so we can teleport back later. So we're going to save here. This will set our uh, spawn point to this area for later on. Because we will be doing a death ward eventually in this run. The only one in the whole run. This area lags a lot. It's beautiful. Look at that juicy frame rate. Oh, yeah. yeah. Until you like get on this bridge. <laughs> Love me some Messi's full frame rate sometimes. Yeah. They're very, very consistent. Nice. No oh, I was going to say no encounter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, maybe? Oh, he's trying to rock at me, isn't he? Oh, what a meanie. The other one will, though. Wow. Surely. Ooh. Surely. Come on. Surely. Come on. There you go. Yay. I'll, I'll heal as well. Yeah. Might as well heal there. It's so quick. So there's also I want to note uh, to you guys there's not always encounters everywhere. So you see me hugging the wall there. There's no encounters in that tile. Um, you're gonna see me abusing that quite a lot, especially at the end of the game, because things will kill you at the end of the game. Um, and at the end of the game, there's ways to avoid nearly every encounter on the final section of the game. And at the end of the game, there are things that can two shot you. So you know you kind of so, so you probably want to avoid them. You kind of want to avoid them, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially in any percent. Um, with glitches, because uh, they will one-shot you in that version, so it's brutal. Fine. Uh, fun fact, I just dodged that rock because if you go next to them, there's a blind spot. <laughs> there's no... I was going to say there's no encounters on this slope coming up, but I didn't get to it. <laughs> <laughs> just a wah. Alright, here we go. No encounters there. Pick up the spirit. That's a level up in earth. There's an encounter at the bottom here. I didn't get it, nice, cool. been pretty good so far as well. Ah, right in the middle. Uh, Unfortunate. Oh, lucky. Uh, yeah. One time escape. Escape has been very nice. It doesn't always go like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you get, I just fell escape for like 20 times and it's really upsetting. Uh, 36. So right now we're plus five on a really good run. So that's fine. Still not bad. Um, so on the first boss, I actually used one of my safety items early. So I'm going to go pick it up and take a 10 second loss here. I have to, because yeah, we need yeah. it for the next boss. So on the first boss, I used my mint leaves. I'm going to get a refresh here for free from the inn. Uh, we call those the givers. So the givers in the inn will give you items. And we're going to go pick up our wings. So after we beat the second boss, we're going to teleport back to this town. So I'm going to pick this up right here. That's our wings. And off we go to the first cave of the run. Also, that music is so good. So if anyone's wondering, why do I run this game? Um, firstly, I think it's adorable. Yeah, can you not course. see it? <laughs> um, but secondly, I run Mario Party, so I know I can deal with RNG games. Um, but the main reason I picked up this game was actually because I watched Use, P Use Pizza run this game. And he was racing some people in it. And I could just see, like, he was laughing when he got trolled by the RNG. I was like, oh yeah, I kind of get it. Like it looks brutal, like as a speed run, but in a way it's kind of funny and like you feel good when it goes well. It's one of those games like, yeah, good RNG, you feel great. Bad RNG, you just laugh. Like, yeah, yeah. It's not even a big like, deal. The bad, the bad RNG, it, it was, it's, it's so expected that yeah. uh, when you don't get it, it's a nice surprise rather than, yeah, like you say. This is the worst encounter requiring. here. Because this attack, that's Avalanche by the way. That's the move we get later. Wow. You can see it's very laggy and uh, it takes a long time, but luckily one turn escape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I think that was really uh, good of the game to kind of give us a little bit of a preview of the broken move. Yeah. 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 So this area is called the Bone Zone, uh, which is ironically a ZFG mode or a Frank Faces mode of the skeleton, the style zones dancing. Ah, yeah. yeah. Like, no, it's a, the original Bone Zone was this just a skeleton dancing, if I remember correctly. But yeah, this is the Bone Zone. The reason why is because uh, there's these like skeleton enemies that we didn't get to see. Well, so that was a really good Bone Zone. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, Overworld has been great in this run somehow. Despite losing so much time in the beginning, this is not that bad. Cool. So what, what are they... Um, you talked briefly about the, the, glitch, uh, the glitch category. What are like the major... Oh, so you want to know about the glitches? Um, so the glitch category allows spirit duping. So in this game, when you teleport on top of a spirit and you mash the crap out of the A button and the uh, level up button, you can get like 30 levels in one spirit. Ah, that sounds, so that's that's, that sounds like a frame rate thing. 
Uh, no, it's just abusing the fact you're on top of it and you're teleporting away at the same time. Oh, uh, okay. And then at the beginning, the beginning of the uh, glitched any percent run, you die. You enter an encounter on top of a spirit, pressing A on the same frame you enter an encounter. You cancel the death. Um, as you get hit, you cancel the death using an attack. And then you glitch out of the encounter and you get like 50 level ups from it. <laughs> it's insanely ridiculous. Yeah. But I'm assuming then you don't get the uh, all the defense boosts and stuff, it's just the level. No. Uh, so you get tons of levels, you're extremely underleveled. You get a bit of defense before the first boss deal. 63 yet again, the same thing. Yeah. Um, but you are extremely underleveled in comparison. You have like way less defense, way less HP throughout the run. And also, um, there's a glitch in it that's allowed called the agility glitch. Um, where if you cancel an enemy's attack by using it on the same frame, you enter the... If you enter an, a fight in this game and you press the, a move, the same frame you enter the encounter and you cancel an enemy attack. This is very specific. Um, you actually get tons of agility, like stupid amounts of agility. It's a glitch. And uh, what that lets you do is it lets you run really far in the counter. Oh, this is a little bit scary. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of those, as you can see, it can be a little bit scary sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're just taking a while. Hashtag why it's not marathon safe. You can see how much damage that thing did to me. Yeah, so um, if you have tons of agility, your running range in a fight goes massive. And that's good because, again, you want to... Um, you need that to clip out of bounds, actually. It helps you clip out of bounds in a lot of places. Please, what? Oh. Gonna stand still here? Oof, damage. There we go. So it's like, oh man, you got hit so many times, that's terrible. No, it's not. I just got defense and HP. Yeah. So it's not even a big deal. Yeah, so in this game, in uh, Glitch Any Percent, you are allowed to clip out of bounds. Obviously, that's a glitch. Yeah. And, um,. That's crazy because you can skip this whole cave. <laughs> in the next room coming up, I'll, I'll tell you the corner where you can do it. I'll just like, like show you it as I pass it. It's gonna heal. All right, so now I have to also get level ups. I need to leave this cave with level 18 earth. I pick up two spirits that puts me at 12. So I need to get six level ups in this cave. This corner right here, this one poking out here, lets you get out of bounds. But you need to get an encounter in a specific area. Yeah. And you need to do some very specific things to get out of bounds. But this part here lets you like skip the whole game. <laughs> and you, you go down there and you clip out of bounds. It looks, yeah. it looks silly. <laughs> oh nice, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Brilliant. The four mob is pretty much exactly what you want. Alright, so these can be quite scary to fight. Um, but luckily we got a free bell. This is going to freeze them for like three turns. And now we're going to try to hit all four at the same time. Hopefully we do. Actually that's not going to work. Maybe? Nice, I got it. Ooh. So that's really hard to position, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, nice. So doing fights ultimately saves a lot of time and also reduces a lot of risk. So you really want to make sure you're good at your fights in this game. This guy might hit me. Of course he does. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to hurt. Please die. Okay, thank God. All right. All right, good. Very good. So getting the first fight of the way without taking damage, great. As you can see, I got two level ups from that. It's a lot of XP. Those things give you like 24 XP each. They give you a lot of XP. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. I'll get another one right away. That's actually very good for us. Round two. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run up to them, get an MP heal early. I don't need this item. It's a spare. I'm going to freeze them again using my flutes. So this is my last safety fight in the, far in the cave. If I can position this. That's not going to work. A little bit more. Oh, it's hard. I need a bit more. There we go. Nice. I got it. Please hit. Wow. I mean, they're frozen. How can you keep missing? Oh my god. Ooh. I need to kill this guy first. Okay, we're safe. No, he's going to hit me still. Oh, come on. Alright, I get a chance to get some MP here. Nice. Ooh. Good fight. Okay, that's, hey. fine. that's fine. Very nice. There's a level up. Two level ups. Again. So now we only need two more level ups. So we're actually getting an extremely good cave right now. So getting those two four mobs right away. So those can be in two, three, or fours. Getting two four mobs with my items I need to use is fantastic. That reduces a lot of the risk in this cave. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get close enough to dodge it. Yeah, so this cave is going very well, which is awesome. 
Nice. Nice. Got to the chest found encounter. Awesome. I can dodge this guy because I can walk up to him here. Never mind. He's too close. <laughs> He's too far, sorry. So those things, wyverns, are kind of weird. If you're close enough, you can just run under them. If you're... Oh, I don't want to fight Shadow the Hedgehog. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so here's Shadow the Hedgehog. Um, I found you, Faker, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found you. Faker! Faker! I think you're the Faker around 64 here. around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Ha! You're not even... You just had the Sonic I'll Block as well. I'll make you eat those words! You literally just had the Sonic Block as well. You're getting spoiled over here. <laughs> Getting spoiled with Sonic content right now. Yeah, any any of you uh, bitter that we we I'm gonna take some that. defense here on purpose. Oh, you didn't even hit me. Never mind. <laughs> I will attempt to take some hits on purpose, but I didn't. This game is a lot of decision making. You're gonna hear me talking about what I want to do a lot. Because uh, you're like, oh, why is he taking hits? Why is he not just spamming escape? There's always a reason for certain things. Like how I, de how I decide to do fights like here, I can run away backwards or I can go forwards. But I'm going to run away forwards because a wyvern spawned and the guys in front don't do that much damage. So it's worth running through. But if I have like um, an enemy that could potentially kill me, I'm not going to run into them and spam escape because I'm going to die. <laughs> so here, this is right behind me. This um, The white circle is behind me. So I'm going to attempt to get a one turn. I got a one turn. Nice. So I got to react to where the circle is behind me and what encounters I get and make a decision really quick. So this is a two mob. This is the worst mob you can get in terms of time value. So I'm gonna try and escape. I got it. I'm getting very lucky right yep. now. <laughs> just easy, just comment to everyone. Yeah, Apparently yeah, it works yeah, first yeah. try. Instant uh, encounter. There's the dodge. Yeah. And the one turn. Yeah, just, <laughs> just keep, just keep, I just gotta keep saying what I'm doing. I'm getting perfect RNG, no big deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just uh, modified uh, my game to give me perfect RNG. Yeah, yeah but, on, but only if it senses you giving the correct play by play. Oh, Shadow oh, the Hedgehog. Oh, double Shadow. There's two Fakers! The imposter, though. <laughs> this guy hits but, you a lot. Uh, which one's the real Faker? This is the worst battle, because look how slow this guy walks. Oh my god. It's the worst battle in the cave. I'm just going to walk here, because this guy attacks right away. There's no point using escape. Yeah. I'm going to heal as I leave, because it, again, saves time. You might as well heal while leaving. Mm -hmm. You're going to heal anyway, so you might as well heal there. <laughs> bum, 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 yeah. bum. How many is it? Just two? Oh, come on. Yeah. I need a three and a, or a four to appear. So right now I need a four and a three or a three and a three to get two levels. So right now we're three quarters away through the cave already. So it's going pretty swimmingly. Bum, bum, bum. Can I make it to the chest? Of course not. <laughs> is that the four? Ooh, do I take this? No, I don't take this. I don't have a freezing item. It's, it's too risky. Those things are only worth fighting if you have a bell or a flute. And you get a second flute at the end of the cave. But ideally, I want to keep the flutes because this is a marathon run. Um, so I want to keep the flutes for a dangerous encounter later because it can save you. So for a marathon set, you probably go to a farming for a three or a four, generally. Uh, well, just like avoid the hedgehogs. Unless I have a really good reason to fight them. Like if I'm desperate. But I'm not desperate, I'm already yeah. I'm already level 16, so it's going pretty well. There's no reason to. Okay. So you see me just picking up uh, two specific items. Most of the time it's always going to be healing items, or it's going to be a dragon potion, which is the MP item. Again, I could be desperate here and go for this, but it's, it's not worth it. I'll take the heal on purpose, get some defense for later. Bum, 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 bum. Is that three? That's worth killing. That's why you won, basically. Yeah. Alright, so you're gonna see me fight this differently. This is the first time I had to fight him properly. So I'm gonna hit the front one for safety. I always do this, it runs. I'm gonna wait for this to attack and because it does less hits if I'm further. I'm gonna walk up to the middle of him. I'm gonna position it so it hits both. That should be right. Very nice. Now it just needs one more attack. Or two if I get lucky. Or three or four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this is quest 64 yeah, I mean. after all. <laughs> oh, it's good orange. One. There you go. So that's a perfect fight. Nice. And that gives me a level up. No health for safety. Well, I'm going to heal anyway, regardless. And we're good to go again. So one more free pack. Not Shadow the Hedgehog, please. Yeah. That's a one turn though, so yeah, it's fine. Yeah, right at the edge. So because it's a one turn, um, I'm going to take the heal on purpose. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're gonna try. The game really doesn't want me to get HP for free, does it? Yeah. That's like, hey, do you want a two pack? Nah, I think I'm good. 
Nice. Damage is good. We want to take damage. That just gave me uh, one HP there. I'm at 80 yeah. now. How many is this? That's, oh, there oh, we go. That's what we nice. need. That's exactly what we're taking. So yeah. normally I don't like to backtrack, but this is worth it. Oh, great. Good start. <laughs> Get this. Nice. nice. Good positioning. That's hard. It looks a lot harder than this, trust me. I promise you. I'm making it look really easy. Oh. Oh. I don't know why I didn't hit sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even move. You see that? Yeah, I, know, I, didn't, yeah, no, exactly I didn't even move and it didn't hit. Oh, beautiful fight. That's, oh. This has been an insane cave. <laughs> <laughs> what a cave. Scotty, the world record holder, would be like, this was a good cave. Yeah. Um, we got time to mesh this, uh, if you want to do something in the meantime, because uh, I'm just going to run to the end of the cave now. Oh, that is perfect. So I would like to remind everyone that as we speak, hopeful antibody treatments, vaccines, and molecules are underway. To help scientists complete the quest for a cure, they need more funds. And that is why we are raising money for the Alzheimer Fund. Then. Nice HP, by the way. Hmm. Pretty good. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. It's always lucky, I swear. Every game, including Smash. Yep. <laughs> but it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, so normally on a run, you want to leave this cave between 46 and 48 minutes is a good run. Uh, we're leaving this cave about 52, which is fine. Again, we spent I spent quite a bit of time, like four minutes trying to get a defense encounter and just playing safe from the boss loses like two minutes as well. But this is still a very good run. I think it's yeah, pretty fine for uh, yeah, like I say, because like the ironic thing is, even if I got like really good RNG for the rest of the run, it could still world record. <laughs> really? Yeah, the world record <laughs> still it's still improvable because it's an RNG game at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess you you're sort of uh, front loading the bad RNG effectively. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so like essentially, um, this run is all about like preparing for the end of it. So like, we got like defense early, HP early. We leveled up a bit extra early, all those kind of things. So you save time later. So find a part of the cave here. Just one little stretch. Oh, that. Of course, when you don't need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic. Game is going, by the way, on your way out. Nice. Do you want, Good do you want, do you want this? I've got so many one turn escapes. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so lucky. No encounter? Let's go. I mean, I mean, okay, yeah, that nice. was good RNG. Yeah, nice. No encounter. I so. say you got a lot of like one turn escapes, but you've also got a lot of um, frame one encounters. No encounters. <laughs> nice and relaxing. There's no encounters here, so I can just have some coffee real quick. There's not many times in this run where I can actually take a break. So this is one of the only <laughs> times where I can like sip my tea or coffee. So you can see it's just non-stop. Yeah, beer. wow. This is just uh, this is the longest corridor. Yeah, there's there's a lot of things like there's like three or four sections of this game where there's no encounters and it's just a pointless corridor. Just like, oh, I we mean, could... I mean, you know it's loading. So it's not even loading no, something. You know it's impressive oh. that the N64 can handle caves this big. Yeah. If, if you think about it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Kinda, It kind of blows my mind sometimes how, how big these maps are. Do, 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 do. There's a spirit here. There's a spirit here. I'm gonna run over here. I'm gonna pick up the safety items because this is a marathon run. I'm gonna pick up <laughs> every single safety item I can. Because again, this is not a marathon safe game and you're gonna see why on the next boss. You're gonna see exactly why, how much that boss is gonna hit me. And I'm gonna cry. Okay. If it goes bad. Oops, please open. Thank you. So I normally don't get these. These lose about 30 to 40 seconds to get these windmills. Um, but I'm doing it because, again, I wanna have safety items. And having safety items is very important for a marathon run. I'm not trying to get world record right now. I'm just trying to complete the run for you guys and put on the show. Just if you've played this game yourself, you know completing this game is not easy. <laughs> Game is brutal. All right, so I just got like four heating items, or three heating items, and one MP item. So that's huge. I think it's, I think it's meant to say completing the game is simple if the game chooses to allow it. Yeah. So it's over here, the last area, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I haven't done this in a while, so. All right, good. Leave. I can heal one. It's got not full health. Okay. Good to go. Got everything. Thanks. All right, so coming up in this area, there are two enemies that can kill me. Of course, it's yep. going to get harder and harder as we go along. Um, these are not nice enemies. If I see them, I'm going to play extremely safe. I'm not going to be greedy because they can kill me in two turns. Um, there's one enemy that throws blaze at you. It's like some female enemy, like a female reducer kind of enemy. And then this guy throws rocks at me. I can just dodge this. That's one turn. 
And also there's these like giant pig enemies that kind of like jump on you like a wrestling move. And they also do half your health. So hopefully okay. we don't see them. We do not want to see those enemies. Oh, my luck's running out. <laughs> yeah. So many enemies make the sound effect in this game. Pew pew is. Sometimes I reckon it, it does. It does sound like just. Uh, we need some sound effects. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> These guys are fine. They do the same pew 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 again. Pew 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 pew. These are the enemy enemy that does that attack. That sound is an enemy that hits for low damage, so it's always good to see because it's free defense farming. Uh, yeah, so those are ideal. You want to see those kind of enemies all the time. And the, those those are the ones you can just run through for free as well. So you get loads of defense and you get to escape against them for free. Go on this quick hut, take a quick visit. Gonna pick up another healing item here. My input didn't come out there, so I just stood in front of the chest for a second like a Muppet. <laughs> and we're coming up to Zealous, which is a very mean boss. This boss kind of has like a 50-50 of walking up to you or not. Um, we don't want him to walk up to us for obvious reasons. He, yeah. he hits you for a lot of damage. We want him to spam his ice ice wall. Also nice. Are we gonna get? Oh, we... oh. that's fine. I mean, I'm not seeing those enemies. I don't want to see. Can I dodge him? I can dodge him. Nice. Good. Escape. Beautiful. Nice. Good encounter. Ooh. Yeah. So like this game. This, this went great. No no really scary encounters and no damage taken. Less healing and this went well. All right. Here's Zealous. This is a very unfriendly boss. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk up to him and start the fight like so. He's gonna walk up to me and use his blade attack. I'm going to use magic armor in the hope that he approaches me on turn one. Spirit armor. He did. That's amazing. Okay. So he's going to use his ice wall move. This is perfect RNG. So I'm going to position myself right here. I'm going to use avalanche. Okay, we hit him once. It's better than zero. No, he's doing it. Okay, so he's hitting me. I'm going to heal turn one to see what he does. Nice. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. I'm going to position myself again. A certain distance. Two, yes. three, good. Do ice wall again? Nice, very good. Cool. Right in the middle. Four. Miss. Oh, so when it misses, if you see the word miss, that means it actually yeah. hit. But the game just said no. <laughs> <laughs> it's extremely troll. <laughs> yes, nice, good. That's what we want to see every time. So it's a little bit close to him this time. We want to be a little bit further. Five. Nice. Good. This boss has about, I think it's 600, 800 HP. I, will, I should have brought my notes, to be honest, but it's fine. Not a big deal. Seven. Six, six, six. Is it six? Oh, it's six. Okay. I can't count, clearly. In the middle. I want to use this item here. Okay, he's not being nice anymore. He's had enough fun in games. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. I have to heal. Yeah, I can't be greedy here. Nice. My man. He's being nice right now. Normally he doesn't do this very often. Ah, oh, no hits. Oh. Welcome to Quest 64. Yep. <laughs> oh, he's being nice though. He's being very generous this run. He's Love being it. generous, but the game is not. Ah, Quest. Oh no. Mm. Are we going to the park? We visited the grass today. I think we're going to the park, Chad. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Yeah. Seven. Double miss. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for the 50 50s. I appreciate it. Uh, right here in the middle. Eight. Nine. nine. I think he's one or two hits away from dying. Oh, walking up to me again. Ow. He hurts a lot. Uh, do I have a small bread? Yes, I do. Yeah. I want to waste that first. Nope. Oh. Uh. Gotta go for the small bread again. Hope he does the. I got so many safety items, so it's yeah. fine. No, stop! Oh, yes. yes, let's go. We'll take that. Yeah, yeah. He's one hit yeah. away. He's one hit away. Uh, I think I'll chuck rocks at him. Actually, I'll just go for that one. I'll go for it again. Please hit. Oh, come on! Oh. Oh, dude, okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to use another item now. Which is unfortunate. I think I have to use this one. Yeah. Okay, so one MP item down. That's unfortunate. Just one hit, please. Yes. He was nice. one hit away. I should use the rock move. I wasted my MP. Alright, so we're gonna get 25 for heal two. So now we have heal two. 
We're gonna escape here. All right, so getting past that is great. We have so many healing items right now. We're gonna use the wings to go back, and we're going to the blue cave. So that was a good Zeus for the most part. I got plenty of hits early. So we're one MP item down. I need to keep. I need to remember that. It's really important for later. So we're gonna get our free MP item back. We're gonna get another mint leaves because she's a giver. She gives you it every time you have none in your inventory. So it's free every single time. Um, only when you have zero in your inventory, the givers will give you the items. Or the helpers, whatever you want to call them. So we need to go in here to drain the water of the town. Sweet. Yeah. Going right so far. I'm yeah. pretty happy with this. Everything's going according to how it should go. I say that now. <laughs> the end of the game might not be as nice. The end of the game is uh, very mean. Any advice? If anyone ever wants to do a marathon around this, just do the Japanese version. Don't be an idiot like me. <laughs> this is, uh, like I said, not very marathon safe. You can see how much damage those bosses were doing to me. So, <laughs> I think also just the oh, uh, the, amount, the amount of, uh, you know, when when you hit and then the game said no, you didn't actually hit. Yeah, you just missed, bro. You did you did hit, but you also didn't hit. The game's like, nah, sorry, bro. <laughs> yeah. as, as opposed to the times that you didn't hit at all. Welcome to the blue cave. Another nice long section. Yay. Yeah. Um, in this cave, the, there are two enemies that heave quite quite a lot. The Crawlers and the Mimics. Speaking of. Oh, yep. This guy hurts, but he's very far away from me. So he's likely to do the ice attack. No, he didn't. He did his poopy attack. Um, am I going the wrong way? I, yes, I yeah, am. You yeah, yeah, I didn't hold B for once. That's my fault. So you might you might not notice, but I'm, you can't see my controller, actually. Um, so what happened in this game when you play casually, you might get lost a lot because the camera spins. But if you actually hold B the whole time we're playing this game, Brian will always face the camera. So you never get lost. So I actually let go of B for once there because I panicked. I saw a mimic. I just wanted to play safe. Um, but yeah. Also, look, it's a weak enemy. I'm just going to run into them. Look how much damage they do. Like, literally nothing. I'm just going to run I mean, into them and look how much Look how much defense they give you. Yeah, exactly, or, right? Yeah, yeah. That's literally the whole game. Like, anything hits you low damage, just take advantage. If you play this game casually as well, that's pretty much what you should be doing. Just take advantage of anything that hits you for nothing. Is that something the game actually explains to you, or is it...? Nope. <laughs> this game doesn't really explain anything to you. So I have heal too, so it heals me for, like, nearly double, which is nice. So we're not going to be getting any water to the end of the run now. We're going to max it off because obviously Avalanche is it's a pretty good move. Yeah. So those are Crawlers. Uh, they have two attacks. One of them is that, the the Ice Knife move, the one we use at the start of the run. And they also walk up to you and do a Sludge attack, which you might see here, actually. Nope. They are too far. Nice. So every time I heal, I get uh, MP experience as well. So ideally... When we get to the second boss, um, we want to have 21 MP because if you think about it, Avalanche costs free mana. Yeah. And if I keep using free mana, I'll be left with two mana, right? Yeah. I'm going to play it safe here. I'm going to skid. Uh, a skid is when you leave the circle. Um, so you finish your turn and you have momentum sliding towards the edge of the circle and you get to move a little bit extra than it normally says. So I can show you, I might be showing an example here. Yeah, I can skid out of this one, just show you guys. So this is a skid right here, you see how I skid? Yeah, yeah, and you And I go a little bit further, and it helps me escape in two turns more often. Oh, thanks for the defense, I appreciate it. And the MP experience. Yeah, and you get MP experience. So normally I would run into those a little bit and spam escape, but... Nah. Nah. <laughs> the thing is, if I go close to those guys, they do an attack that hits me for like 30. And if I keep failing escape, I die in three turns. So yeah, I'm going to take a risk here. It should be fine. Yep. Because there's <laughs> two of the weak enemies in front, I get two turns of low damage. Uh, so it's worth taking the risk there. They're less likely to try and move in front, uh, move towards you if there's enemies in the way. Well, you get, you get two turns of escape attempts first. And then, then you start taking big damage. So it yeah. all depends on what formation of enemies you get. And in that formation... Um, there were two weak enemies first, and they go first before the other guys because of speed. Also, this part's chill. Um, there's no enemies for like a minute. So if you want to just talk about the marathon or yeah. some, like anything, feel free. Alrighty. So once again, we are raising money for the Alzheimer Fondant, and every donation can help caregivers and reduce the financial cost of supporting loved ones with Alzheimer's. Also, this has the, the hardest piano solo coming up. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Here it kicking in.
Bravo, bravo. Yeah. Pay that guy extra. Pay that guy extra. Yeah, so if we're lucky, we might hear it twice. There's one part in the second part of the cave where the, the piano goes hard for a second and it teases you. <laughs> I've only, I get it like maybe like one out of five runs. He plays the piano solo twice. And it's hype because it means you got no RNG, like good RNG, but yeah. I just like hearing the piano solo. Yeah. I mean, I think that piano solo deserves a, a few donations, right? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Pay that guy extra. <laughs> I agree. Let's keep him coming. Chat. Pay the piano man. <laughs> Also cure Alzheimer's, but mostly pay the piano man. Encounter here. I tried to do a glitch uh. on purpose. Even though it's glitched, I just wanted to show you guys a demonstration. <laughs> I just wanted to try. Right, I'm going to play it safe here because you can see how much damage I'm taking. Wow, yeah. Yeah. What? So if I walk Attempted towards the... glitch and a glitch this run? <laughs> yeah, no, I just wanted to show a demonstration actually quickly. Um, I, I can do something that's essentially allowed, but also questionable, um, where you do it by quote unquote mistake. Um, but that's the only place in the whole run where you can do it on purpose. Yeah. I just wanted to show it, what I was talking about. Uh, go for the quick donation, by the way. we got time. <laughs> so it's not certain what causes Alzheimer's, but plaques are that are dis... Okay. So it's not certain what causes Alzheimer's, but plaques that are disturbing the neurons and their signal pathways are the prime suspects. Upcoming drug treatments hopefully can eliminate the plaque and slow down the progress progression of the disease. It looks like I'm escaping, but I'm not. <laughs> so troll sometimes. <laughs> I mean, you're right there, and then <laughs> the spell fell anyway. Hey, free defense, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it doesn't matter that much. Thank you, sir. Please, may I have another? Please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> wow. More! Well, okay then, I have one donation for you. <laughs> a $5 donation by Anonymous saying shout out to the overnight runners and staff. You're the real MVPs. Uh, just another DJ night for me, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't, I don't stream this late ever. And if I do, it's like some stupid Mario Party marathon that takes like 60 hours or something. You just so, stood up rather than... Uh, rather than yeah, it's run. like stood up rather than uh, stayed up all day. Ow. I mean, we did literally drag you out of bed for this one. I was meant to escape there. Dude, I, w I thought that was a Sonic Adventure DX run. Hey, hey, we all did, man. We all did. Ah, feels bad, man. <laughs> Chad, you didn't want to see Sonic's terrible mouth animations when he talks? <laughs> <laughs> and the bad lip sync. I go for more donations. It's just, it's a long cave. Feel yeah. free. Alrighty, so we have a $200 donation. Oh, let's go. Nice. Cheers. Let's cheer. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is from mja 0 saying, Hey from the US. First time donating? Love watching all types of speedruns. And this is going towards the Alien Isolation Ripley cosplay. Thank you so much for your donation. Oh, whoops. And I hope you enjoy this, this run and the marathon. Escape is not being as nice now. Oh, nice yeah. to be again. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps happening. Yeah, so as you can see, escape doesn't always work. So you can see why running into everything is not always smart. Yeah. Um, but you can see I can take a lot of hits because I farmed the fence. So imagine I didn't farm the fence. These things would be murdering me right now. I, I mean, I mean, you are chunking like a third of your health every time you get hit with a big attack. It's half my health if I don't do it. Yeah. You can imagine how scary this run can be if you don't do it. And... Uh, I used to do that, that route where you don't farm defense, like only a tiny bit, and <laughs> you never complete runs. It, uh, and if you do complete a run, even then it's like a Christmas miracle. <laughs> and like, even if you do complete a run, it's pro probably going to be slow because again, you can't spam because escape Because it'll take you much. yeah ages to and you kill get more. out of encounters. Yeah. Exactly, right? So that's why it's kind of worth losing time in the beginning to save time later in this game. <sighs> This is a good example of Quest 64 right now. You're getting yeah. a true experience. I had really good RNG and I had really bad RNG. And yep. I'm getting really bad RNG back to back. Ow. The game giveth, the game taketh. And I'm healing a lot. <laughs> yep. Why? In this case, it giveth you a... Stop! <laughs> <laughs> One step encounters. Yep. I'm literally right next to the exit. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. All right, so uh, this is seven minutes off my PB. So we lost a little bit of time. It's fine though. So I lost about a minute from the first boss to the second, but that's nothing though in reality. A minute's like literally nothing. And plus my PB has a really good section here, so it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Plus marathon. By plus I way, have a lot of defense. By the way, we just hit 58k. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Let's go. Let's nice. go! <laughs> oh, is it coming? 
Horse jam? Ah, oh, no Ooh. piano solo. Not even close. Yeah. Didn't even give it a chance. This feels bad, man. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I wasn't meant to do that, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I just want to get some more defense. Yeah, yeah. That was deliberate. Yeah, clearly. De deliberate getting defense. Surely, smile. <laughs> Alright, cool. That's fine. Wow. I'm loving these... Uh... Oh, yeah, here, yeah. here's the attack I was talking about. It's first oh. time seeing it. Look how fast that is. You see how fast he walked up to me there? It was beautiful. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Approaching menacingly. Well, we got the 21 at least. Oh, I got 21 mana already? Oh, nice. Thank you for telling me. I didn't notice it just now. That's good. Yeah, so because I've been using so many heals and taking damage, I actually got 21 MP, which makes the next boss. Did I go the right way? Yeah, I did. Yeah. So we're coming up to the Ice Maze room. This is really bad. I'm <laughs> getting extremely lucky right now. Um, feel free, by the way. This is just a long cave. So if you want to just talk about stuff, you, you can just butt in quite often. <laughs> all right, it's all right. Fine. I'll keep it in mind. Yeah. So we got another $200 donation. Oh, let's go. Yes. This time by school saying, thank you, Brian. Fuzzy, oh. Robo. Did you just say no? <laughs> I said, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> God, he's the world record holder right now. Yeah. And everyone for hosting Quest 64 this year. Best of luck on the marathon. Guilty? He's probably he's probably enjoying this because I actually got to run past the beginning <laughs> <laughs> in a marathon somehow. He's yeah, like, yeah. damn, let's go. <laughs> he somehow yeah. didn't delete the first 15 minutes of the run. Yeah, so I just want to give a shout out to uh, Scholardy. Um, he actually helped me learn this game quite a lot. Um, he is the world record holder as well right now, um, but the world record could be improved. Um, there's been like a lot of theorizing and testing, and again, like the emulator stuff I talked about, where you can test the avalanche RNG and stuff. Um, so it can definitely improve still, and he knows as well. Um, but he's been very supportive, so I'm very thankful. And also support charity, which is nice of him. Thank you for that. Um, but also like him and Kirk, you and Bing, uh, Bing um, have done a lot for the community. And they've also done previous marathon runs. You know. They're all very knowledgeable about the game and really nice to new people. So probably one of the nicest communities in speedrun I've actually been in so far. No offense to others, but... <laughs> You know, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, I mean, I mean, I mean, most most communities, like when you get kind of um, terrible RNG run, they start complaining about it. They'll kick off. Like, become uh, angry people. RNG games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like Pokemon Stadium runners. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, those, yeah, yeah. Those, those guys raging all the time. Yeah. <laughs> no Shots shade. Fired. No shade. Fired, except, right? except except we're calling you out. But yeah. Like uh, <laughs> there's been a bunch of new runs for this recently, which is nice to see. And um, again, Scholar D and Bing have been super supportive. And Kirk as well has come back a bit more on the Discord recently. Kirk has been around for a long time in the speedrun community. He was at the first GDQ I went to in like 2012. So he's been around, like for sure. Hey, this enemy looks familiar. The guy at the back. I think I've seen him before. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe the Ice K thought you were missing him. So I actually don't have the right health right now, which is a little bit concerning. So maybe I should farm? I might farm a little bit if I see a certain enemy appear. Um, I did I want to have 98 HP going to this next boss because it makes it a bit more scary. Hit me, please. Thank you. Because the boss can actually potentially two or three shot me and it's not in my control. So it, it, what's coming up is a little bit scary actually because I, it, I could lose 20 minutes. And I really, I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like, it's not much I can do about it in a way if it does happen. I really hope it doesn't happen. So I'm just taking, I, I'm not using escape now because I actually do want to take hits on purpose. I'm gonna do one more. Is this a good enemy to take hits from? Yeah, I just wanna take hits from this guy. He's one of the weaker enemies, a lot, a lot along with the bats here, so. There you go. Nice. I got health there, see? Okay. I yeah. gained one HP. So normally you wouldn't farm this too much at the end of the cave, but again, this is a marathon. I, I'm willing to take like 20, 30 second losses everywhere just to make sure. Just to make sure I get through the bosses. Because the bosses are pretty much the deal breakers of this game. If you play it casually, you'll fully understand what I'm talking about. The bosses do not mess about in this game. <laughs> Especially Guilty. Guilty will two-shot you, no matter how good you are. Uh, guilty in this game, I'm just going to run through this. Just taking hits on purpose, like yeah, I said. Yeah, this, this should be fine. You can still pretty fast. See, I'm just moving forwards while doing this. Yeah. This is still ideal, because it doesn't lose that much time, because I've got to move forward anyway. And the turns are extremely fast. Yeah, and the individual hits aren't that... Uh... Did I just walk out this circle? Is this... It's glitched, yeah. Oh. The circle's kind of weird and out right now. Yeah, the circle is extremely weird. <laughs> Sometimes the circle gets stuck out of bounds. That's really rare. Um, and I can see the arena was huge there, so. 
That was All right, good. Well, no longer glitches category then. <gasps> All right, we're out. So 96 is probably the lowest we want to go into this boss health-wise, but 96 is fine. I'll just make sure I play safe. Should be fine. Spirit down there. We grabbed it from above, which is nice. Some of the hitboxes extend over the platforms. Now we're going to take the mystery teleporter. <coughs> go into the mystery boats. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I love the music switches in this game, that's for sure. Am I full? Yeah, I'm full. Wasn't sure. Okay, there's another dragon potion. Alright. Coming up with these like pencil fish things that heal for a lot of damage. <laughs> but they're not they're not that scary. They don't usually like two or three shot you very easily. They're just annoying. Because they're pretty hard to dodge. Oh, speak of the devil. Hey! Pencil fish. There's a pencil fish. Oh, he's right in my face. I can't dodge that one. You can see they hit you quite, for quite a lot of damage. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ain't dodging that one. Just more free MP. You know? Yeah, yeah, you weren't, you, weren't, <laughs> you weren't kidding about the free shot, though. Yeah, you see, things things start doing a lot of damage at this point in the game. It doesn't mess about. So you can see I'm going like around places to get some really quick spirits. Um, that increases my damage. Even though I've got Avalanche already, Every level in Earth increases my damage, but eventually also levels in, um, ironically levels in um, water will also increase my damage eventually. Nice one turn escape. Thank you very much, game. Please just give me a mob of spiders. Nice. Good, good, good. I'm going to farm this a little bit. I'm going to take advantage of oh, this for nice. sure. That's, yeah, that's some good damage values. Yeah. I, I want this. I just want to get a little bit of extra defense for the boss, just to make sure. So normally, again, I wouldn't do this. I'll just go in with what I got, but again, yeah, we just got a HP for now. It's good. Cool. All right, we should be good to go. Oh, well, I guess we're just getting a bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Game, game uh, said, this is going to be a run through. Yeah. I'm going to start using escape as I take damage. Again, I'm just doing this because I want to be a little bit safer for the marathon. Yeah. Nice. And no more encounters. Cool. Yeah, that's good. That was worth it. That definitely helps me a little bit. All right, boss time. This is uh, the most annoying boss in the game. This boss has the smallest hitbox out of all the bosses in the game. So even though the rocks will land right next to the boss, sometimes they just don't hit. Um, this boss can also like two or three shot you on top of that. Uh, that's pretty much every boss in this game, yeah. to be fair. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we wanted to do the projectile, but it doesn't happen that often. Well, so now we have magic barrier, was the thing I was talking about at the start of the game. It can miss, even though it's a shield. That's good RNG. One, good. As long as we hit her, I'm very happy. A little bit further back, that's perfect. I'm gonna use this every two turns. Be safe. I'm in the right spot, so I'm gonna face the boss just to manipulate the RNG a bit. <sighs> uh, None of them went anywhere near. Perfect position. <laughs> two, okay, as okay, long as I hit. Yeah, yeah. As long as I hit. Two hits is always a bonus. All right, let's see if I get it. Good, as long as I get that, I'm happy. I need to use an MP item. Right here. I'll play it safe because it's a marathon. I'm not going to be greedy and go for a three turn barrier. I'm always going to go for two turn barriers in the marathon. Do not be greedy. Please hit. No. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. It hit, but it missed. Troll. Three. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. Only one hits. It's being mean. Um, okay. I'm going to go for a hit because my mana's eight, which is not ideal. So I'm going to go for one more, then shield. Nice. Yep, five. Five. Is it going to run out? It did not run out. I got yes. one. Awesome. So I get an extra free barrier attempt. And it works. Nice. No miss. That's good. So now we have good, uh, good MP. So we're going to use a second item. We've got five hits already. This is going very well. 
I'm going to play it safe, use another barrier. Now we're good to go. He's going to walk up to me. I want to be just outside the shield circle, which is the right range. I'm going to face the boss and use the thing again. Six, good. Seven. Nice. Okay. This is going Start great. I'd be happy now. with this in a run. Yeah, yeah. I'd be very happy with this. Boss is not too far from dying. <laughs> so <Yeah>. troll. <laughs> not too far from dying, but too far from any of the boulders. I might use confusion once, because I have lots of HP items right now. Eight, nine. Nine. The boss is nearly dead, so I'm actually going to use confusion now. I'm going to walk away on purpose. I'm going to use a move called confusion. If I get hit, I get MP. It, the barrier didn't run out, that's troll. <laughs> please use ever attack, please. No, that's fine. All right, this is a little bit risky. I got a, oh. good, I got a good damage there, so I got MP. Yeah. That, that's super worth it, so I save an MP item by doing that. Yeah. All right, now we don't want to take any more hits. The boss is like... 10, 11. The boss... Nice! Oh, yes, yes. That was a great fight, wow. That was extremely, extremely lucky. The boss fight does not go like that very often. That is blessed RNG. Yeah. Any runner would be very, very happy with that fight right there. Because I used um, minimal MP items, and I didn't use a single HP item. So right now, we're doing very good on items. That's lucky. That's great. Awesome. And defense farming paid off there because I didn't even take half my HP. So yeah. that, that was fantastic. Jeez. All right, good. We are in good shape to actually get to the end of the game. So you guys will probably get to see the full run. Yay. Or at least the guilty. <laughs> if, um, I'm actually going to go for another encounter here. Even though it's ideal to die to these guys, as you can see, they kill you quite fast. I want to get some free uh, defense on the way out. Um, I'm going to try one more encounter on the way down. Do we have to do a death warp here? Um, but I would ideally rather get defense in the marathon. For obvious reasons. <laughs> I don't want to die. Come on. Come on, there's encounters here. I know I know there's encounters. We saw the spiders earlier. Uh, I'll just dodge the fish. Take damage from this guy. Owies. Nice. Owies. Dodge him. Ah, never mind. Oh well, good enough. Yeah, so I got I got like two defense from this. This is worth it. Ah! HP there. Well. Oh no, I died. Oh. oh, what a shame. Now I gotta start all over again. What a shame. Oh hey, I'm here. Oh okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna heal because I have one HP. Yeah, I'm not gonna save. That scared me so much. That's fine. And back to the boat. Okay. And why didn't you warn us in advance that was gonna happen? Trying to give everyone a heart attack. Cool. We're not even raising money for a heart attack charity. Outside. I feel so much more relaxed knowing I have items. Yeah. Like <laughs> if it, if any of those fights went badly, I would not be very happy during this run because I, it's very likely I won't be able to complete the game. So just getting lucky on those two bosses. In fact, well, Zeus wasn't nice to be fair. Yeah. Well, Zeus himself was nice. Just the just the game. Well, so one thing you might notice is uh, when I'm using abilities, I'm trying to turn the camera away. Not that time, but you can see how bad he lags. Um, if you hold B, the spell will keep the camera where you're facing. So sometimes you want to face away from the enemies when using escape, just to reduce lag as well. Like sometimes you can lose like four seconds just to using a move with a bad camera. So it's pretty important. Fishman. Nice no attack. It's too far. There's a lot of little things in this game that save time. Okay, nice so far. These guys are very slow. Dude, he's bringing the gang with him every time. Yeah. Boom. Nice. Cool. Very good. Uh, is that one turn? I think it is. Looks like a one turn. It might not be. Take your time. Don't be shy. Nice. Very good. Good encounter so far. So fun fact, if I run out of uh, honey bread, the big bread item, you can actually one-shot these guys using avalanche. I'm going to run into these guys. These give me free defense, so why not? I don't hit you that hard. Oh, well, just one hit, I guess. <laughs> sure. <laughs> they don't give me that much free defense. Uh, it's unfortunate. I mean, it's not unfortunate. It's fast, but I just yeah. got... You know what I mean? It would be nice yeah, to yeah, get yeah, some yeah. free defense while you're at it. I mean, I got, I got free hits worth of defense. I can't complain. 
Yeah, it's a weird thing. Like, you kind of want to, you know, get hit. And it's, I think it's more the case that you don't mind if the escape score fails. That's not bad. This is two turn. Two turns are great. So I'm going to go in a house I don't normally go in. I honestly have not even practiced going in this house, but there's items in there. I'm just going to assume that it's the right place. I'm just going to go in there because I want to pick up safety items and take a small, like, 20-second time loss for marathon reasons, for obvious reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's going to be the last time I do a safety try in this whole run, so... Yeah, it'll be the last one. Last small, like, little time loss. But honestly, this is, like, probably less than five minutes off my PB right now, so that's really, really good. Yeah, magic up as well. Actually a good run. Well, it'd be nice. I'm going to run through this one. <laughs> okay, the game. Or, or, or not. Oh, this is the worst oh. encounter in this area. This lags. Look how laggy oh this is. Oh my god. <laughs> the frame rate is like 10. <laughs> nice, thank god. That you, can you can lose like 40 seconds to that. If you spawn yeah. right next to it and it, it just keeps giving you turns, you lose like 7 seconds a turn. It's so bad. Same. I found you, Faker. Faker? I'm going to approach you very, very slowly and <laughs> tell you who the real Faker is found here. Nice. <laughs> Alright, this is what. That was a very good section as well. I'm getting. The, the overworld has been amazing in this run. I normally don't get this lucky in the overworld. Like, so many quick escapes and free heals. Oh, it's this building. I believe. I think it's this building. Upstairs. Should be the chests. Right? Yeah, yeah. Thank god, okay. I'm not being an idiot on stream. <laughs> what are you getting here? Is it mid leaves and a health item? Yeah. So I just got two safety items you don't normally get. Um, in this run, if you get a really good run and you want to just, you know, guarantee a bit of safety, you can go pick those up. It's this way. I don't normally go in here, so... Alright, we're good. So that's done. That's just, I just wanted to do it because, you know, it's a marathon. Every item is so important in a marathon. Yeah. Because you're going to see when I get to Guilty, he's going to hit me for like 80 damage. And I want to make sure I have every item possible to beat him. Yeah. Because in a marathon, completing this game is a success. <laughs> well, you, can only get, you can only hit get hit by 80 damage once. Is the spirit down there? Moment. I picked it up from above. I'm going to go in the castle, so there's some quick spirits. Sweet. Hey, pick it up. <laughs> Can't even see it. Here comes the most relaxing music in the game. It reminds me of like a nursery, like the Chow Garden. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Comfy. But up, but up. <laughs> but you only get to hear it for like five seconds. I'm sorry. <laughs> Goodbye, music. Oh, my relaxing music is gone. And we're out of here. We've got plenty of items. So I'm, I'm up like four items right now. Then normally I'm in my run of my runs. That's awesome. All right, so now we're going to walk towards the uh, the like the headquarters kind of place. The Golden Eye Caverns, as I call it. <laughs> so normally when I go for this cave, I play the Golden Eye Cavern Caverns music as a meme. Yeah. Uh, you'll see why. There's one part that looks literally exactly the same as it. Also, nice battle. Laggy as heck, though. Please escape. Nice. nice. It's always good when, they, when you get that when it lags like crazy. This run is like potentially on pace to get like third, fourth place in the leaderboard still, which is kind of insane for a marathon wow, run. Pretty, yeah. yeah, it's been very fortunate. Lots of things have gone right despite playing safe like most of the time. It's mm. actually been very, very fast. Yeah, it took quite a few details for, uh, for safety items as well. And farming, defense, yeah. yeah. Insane. Well, I mean, let's go back to what you said earlier about um, the, the the time that you spend farming for defense just gets paid back later on. He might hit me with a shockwave here. I think he will, because I'm quite close to him. That hit me so late. So he might do a shockwave attack here. He did. Boom. Mm. That's fine. Not a big deal. Wow, I have 22 MP already. <laughs> yeah, Getting lucky with MP. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, you got that just at the end of the last area. So here we're going to finally max out our Earth, um, Earth uh, to 50 the second. Once I go into this 10, you'll see me. I have 50 Earth, so I'm going to start leveling water from this point. Water, as we call it. Yeah. Water, bruv. It's what, what, what we call it down in the U, UFK. Just, 
You and Kay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm Kay. You Kay? Yes, yeah, so now I have 50 off, so now I need to do something else. I'm just gonna level up water, because it gives me bigger heals, and I do more... I still do more avalanche damage, ironically, so that's good. Oh, please. <laughs> All right, here comes the scary part. So in this area, um, there is a enemy that looks like a Final Fantasy enemy that can hit me for like half my health. He's very fun to see. We don't want to see him. <laughs> <laughs> and if we see him on his own, that's even more scary. If we see two of them together, that's good because um, they approach me one by one rather than chase me. If I see one, I'm probably going to have to use an item to get away because it's very dangerous. Ooh. These are good boys. These are the guys that give you defense. Bum, bum. Bum. And they walk pretty slowly. I'm just going to play it safe here. I want to get some free defense if I can. I always need to be near full health in this cave because, again, I take tons of damage from that one enemy. Yeah. You're probably going to see him. Uh, it looks like the, the fire enemy that blows up in Final Fantasy. Bam, bam, bam. No, no, bam, 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 bam. Instead, I'm gonna take a little risk here. I'm gonna run into them. This might go bad. If it does, I have items. It's fine. Get unlucky? Yeah, I'm getting unlucky here. All right, that's fine. There we go. Yeah. That's. I kind of uh, retreated after I realized it didn't work. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> worth a try though. Yeah. yeah. That's a good encounter. They're gonna miss me completely. So I get a free escape. There you go. Nice. Here we are. Ooh. It's our friends. He's gonna, oh, he's, he's gonna hit me for the wolf. Oh, good encounter. Oof. I didn't even take a hit. That thing hits me for like 60. It does not mess about. <laughs> Dang. Uh, do I go for it again? I'll go for it. Yeah, you should go. Nice, let's go. It's always nice to get a freebie. Oh, you got a HP up as well. As you can see, this game is all decision making. Yeah. There's a lot of RNG, which can suck, because you can just lose a lot of time to encounter sometimes, but being just being good at decision making can save a lot of time. Yeah, there's so much just risk reward balancing that you're going through all the time. Like, let's say you save five seconds every fight and you get 100 fights. That's a lot of time in this game. That's like nine yeah. minutes, right? So it matters a lot how you decide to do things. I'm gonna skid this one. Oh, I didn't get it, dang. It's an extra turn. Unfortunate. If I skid, oh, I got it anyway. Yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, I just wanted the guarantee hitting it. It's fine. This mute, this fairy has got pretty epic music. Oh, oh that's the okay. that's the one you don't want to see, but it's a one turn. And he missed. Nice. You're very lucky. He's not. Sp Sometimes they spawn right next to you, and there's not much you can do about it. But I feel like unless you run the low defense route, you should never die here. So we're pretty safe for the most part. Uh, but if you run the route where you don't farm defense at the start of the run, they're going to hit you for 90 or 100. And uh, that leaves you at like 10, 20 HP. So good luck completing runs. <laughs> <laughs> it's really brutal. Dang. Can I escape here? It's just barely. So far, so good. We're coming up to the safe part of the cave, which is nice. This has been a pretty decent section. I think it's like the hideout, kind of like OT, like the Thieves hideout kind of place. Yeah. I think it's called hideout or something like that. So There's last part of the cave, or the safety area. This is, this is a lucky encounter. Anything where you move forward is very good. I'm just gonna press A. Especially when you're already quite close to the exit. This takes like four seconds, but it takes like two seconds to use escape anyway. So if escape fails, you probably just end up losing more time than what you would have saved. All right, it's Golden Eye Caverns. You'll see why. Look familiar? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Top part of cavern. Yeah, it's like literally Golden Eye Caverns. That is just the walkway. Yeah, it's the walkway in Golden Eye Caverns. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. bam. Brown, brown, brown. Such a banger. I always have it open on the tab on the side, ready for this part. Every oh. PV has the Golden Eye Caverns music on it. Yep. There are hidden RCP 90 here as well. True. Minimalize uh, scientific, scientific casualties. That's the first <laughs> objective of that level. 
It's like, God, he just got in the way of my bullets, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> they do. They're really good at uh, the old get down, Mr. President, except Mr. President is a machine. Or standing next to the machine. Yeah. Like, please don't blow this thing up next to me. Again, this is um, ESA Winter. This is a charity marathon. So you want to support the uh, Alzheimer's Foundation. And uh, please uh, donate to support the charity. You can say, you know, most things you can say within reason of donations, as long as, uh, very, uh, as, long as it's appropriate. Um, feel free. Um, even if it's to troll me, I'm, anything's fine for charity for the most part, as long as it's not rude. Yeah. But we have plenty of downtime in this run to read donations, so... Yeah, absolutely. Free. You're gonna see it finally. Look at that damage. Oh! He hits pretty hard, but this is fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, then. Yeah, we're you fine. You say so. We're fine. Alright. If it's a two mob, you're not likely to get hit twice. If it's a one, you can see why it's scary, because he'll chase you again right next yeah. to you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's give one, yeah, a bit of a gap. But, but yeah, no, um, no. I mean, we've already raised like fifty-eight thousand uh, dollars so far. I mean, you guys have been just incredibly generous. Um, so yeah, please do uh, keep coming. We're ultimately trying to reach a target of one hundred thirty-five thousand um, dollars over the course of the marathon. So we're on track to uh, to do that at the moment. But obviously, um, we need your we need your help to do so. So, but yeah, anything you can. Uh, spare anything you can support. Um, it's all, every single dollar goes to an absolutely amazing cause. I'm getting to the point in the run where defense doesn't really matter anymore. Um, after the, the next two bosses, it's not going to matter at all. Because um, the bosses, after the next two bosses, can just two shot me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the, the second last boss, it does make a little bit of a difference, damage range, but I have so many items, I'm probably just going to play safe anyway. Bam, 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 bam. It's been a while <laughs> since we heard that one. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, gosh, I didn't move down. <laughs> My input just didn't come out. I pressed the AT boss, so take your time. There you go. Bam, bam, bam. He's brought his friends this time. Yeah. Prepared. Bam, 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 bam. No way, he might. No, he's not. <laughs> and those, those sound effects are basically. Definitely the work experience, kid. They're all stock uh, sounds. Yeah. Most of the sounds in this game are stock sounds, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he brought his friends as well. Oh. Uh, are they blocking him? No, they're not. Oof. Damage. That wasn't that bad. Okay. He, only, he only hit me once, actually. Nice. Right. Good fight. That was a good fight. <clears throat> Normally he hits you twice like a shotgun, like a double barrel hit. So only taking 40 damage is very lucky there. All right, I want to get some defense. So let's start running into things. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> the game just game, knows. Game, game does the game, not want you to get the fence. The game just knows. <laughs> Alright, we're coming up to the end of this area. Oh no, he's trying to make So we're coming up to Shilf, the Valentine's Lady of the game. Ooh. She's beautiful. But she also has a tiny hitbox. She only takes like 8 hits to kill. But her hitbox is pathetic. Hit me. Nice. Okay. That's fine. More defense. Hey, extra HP. Yep, always good. And more MP as well. You get both HP, defense, and MP from that scenario. Cool. It only loses like Full seven package. seconds for that, but it's so worth it. Just to be able to complete the game, to be honest. Can I escape in one turn here? Let's find out. You attacked me from there? Nice range, man. <laughs> Jeez. Sometimes the enemy is like, it qu it's questionable. Sometimes they walk up to you from like a year away. <laughs> and then sometimes they hit you from like the other side of the planet as well, and it just makes no sense. Oh, I got the worst Ooh. encounter position. Sometimes it's really rare to get an encounter here. Yeah. They can't even come down to you. They're stuck up there. They're just gonna do that stupid attack. So I'm just gonna let them do it. Take your time. All right, it's time for Shelf. Wish me luck. I need to hit her like eight times. She dies very fast. If I can hit her, her, okay. her laser will kill me in three hits. Okay. Potentially two. So hopefully Barry doesn't fail more than twice. If it does, I'm just gonna heal anyway, so I'll be fine. I got plenty of safety items. So I'm gonna hug the right here. Um, I'm gonna try manipulator at the start of the fight. I'm gonna walk forward, hug the wall. I'm gonna use magic barrier, and I want her to walk towards me on the next turn. So I'm gonna skip my turn here. I want her to walk towards me. She didn't do it. This is really important, the strat. It makes the fight consistent. I'm gonna use it again every two turns. Perfect. Hey. So now she's in a favorable position for my rocks to hit. This is good. I'm gonna walk up to her, skip a turn. I'm gonna use barrier, hope it doesn't fail. We're good to go. So okay. now we've got the setup for the fight. 
Um, so we're gonna try hitter. One. Ooh. Good start. Anything that hits her is amazing because she has super low health. So I gotta pay attention to where she is in the circle because I actually need to move during this too. That's good. I'll take a hit. Any hits good? So every time she does that attack, she moves back. Ooh, that's uh, very bad. Oh, I have to heal. Yeah. That's danger right there. As you can see, she hit more than half my health. I don't like that. Uh, oh, please don't do this. Oh, what do I do? Do I go for a lower damage roll? I think I do. That doesn't even heal me to the right health. So I have to use this. I gotta go for a lower roll. That's better. Yeah, I shouldn't die. If I die, I'm gonna be very, very sad. Please, game, don't do this to me. Please don't kill me. Don't behave. <sighs> yes! That's nice. Okay, so now we get a heal with a Bishop Barry attempt. No! Oh! oh my god. It's so scary. I need to walk here anyway. This game is trolling me right now. Welcome to Quest 64, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there it is. Okay, that's good. That's, that's good. Yeah. All right, we're back Yay. in there. We're back in there. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to play extremely safe because I have extra items. So I'm going to heal to full. So I get an extra chance to take a hit if anything goes wrong. Now I'm going to reset the whole thing. All right, good to go. All back, right. to, back to square one. <laughs> so you, that was a good example of what can go wrong very, very fast in this game. Normal service resumes. Three. We hit her as well there. It was yep. just uh, overrided by the other text. God. Oh, <laughs> rocks, please. Oh my god. Not goodness. the right time for that to happen. That's a good hit, though. That was low. Yeah. Uh, this is unfortunate. She's not being nice. Oh, it's so scary, dude. Please hit me for a low roll. All right, okay, fine. yep. All right, good. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> Stressful fight. Uh, a little bit closer. Nice. Five. She's nearly dead, actually. She's like one or two hits away. She does not take many hits. This has been a very unfortunate fight. She munched up my items. I get the spares. Miss. Yep. Come on. Oh, come on. Game, please. Yeah, at least no more fails. Yeah, please. I mean. Man, it would be so great if the magic barrier is guaranteed to last four Dead? turns, wasn't it? Oh, is that the whole thing? Oh, one more hit. Okay. Um, ooh, what do I do here? Uh, you definitely survive the next hit if you want to go for it all. Uh, safety. Let me check barrier. how many items I have. One, two, two MP items. I have more healing items than MP items right now. I think the play here is to confusion into heal. I could just send it, but that's that's greedy. Now we, we go for confusion here. Nice. Um, I get a free heal. Um, early, which is good. That like, could save me a turn anyway. So I'm gonna do this now. He's gonna hit me. That's a good damage good, roll. Yeah. Alright, awesome. Yeah, so okay. I got to save an item there. And MP items are more important than HP items. So anytime I can do that, that's fantastic. Dead. And that's it. Nice. Awesome. So we got past that boss. That boss is a little bit scary. As you can see, if you if you fell. The moment you fell one barrier, it's downhill. Yeah. Yeah. That's everything in this game. If you I fail barrier at this point in the run, you're going to have to back it up somehow. And that was a good example of me panicking and trying to figure out the best scenario to get out of it. And it worked and, out. And, yeah. And two high damage rolls kills you. Yeah. So what I did there was I didn't be greedy. You could just go for it mm. and hope it hits you for low. But again, this is a marathon. I have HP items. I'm going to farm the low damage roll first instead of hoping yeah. for it. In a, in a speedrun world record attempt, I would just go for the low damage roll and just pray it doesn't kill me. And you'll see me be on 1 HP and you'll laugh. Because <laughs> it, it does happen quite often. Sometimes you just end up on 1 or 2 HP in this run. You're like, phew! That's cool. Crazy. Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> glad you get to see a fight like that. Because if the yeah, game was yeah. like easy peasy, like <laughs> nothing went bad, then it would look like a joke game. But that was a great example of things that'll go into plan. And you can imagine, we don't normally have this many items. So it can be pretty scary. I normally have like half the HP items I have this run. 
I'm trying to keep my MP items because it'll make Guilty later on very safe. If I don't have those MP items, Guilty has a very big chance of killing me. I think this is the uh, example of the, the random encounters doing tons of damage as well. It gets worse and worse, yeah. Quite scary. There are butterflies here that hit you for like half your health. And they can also uh, silence you as well. Speak of the devil! Hey! Look, it's my friend! We were just talking about you. Boom! That wasn't that bad. He hit me with a weaker hit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, I walked the wrong way? Yeah, I walked the wrong way. <laughs> I had a feeling I didn't hold B there. Falling asleep at the wheel. Got time for a donation? Yeah, feel free. We just got a $50 donation by Anonymous. And thank you all so much for supporting a great cause. So there are several ongoing clinical trials around the world for candidate drugs. These hopeful treatments would not have been possible without the increased awareness and financial support for the Alzheimer research in these past years. So let's keep it up and let's keep the donations coming. Oh, nice dodge. Ooh. Those guys hurt. <laughs> yeah. Everything hurts at this point. <laughs> yeah, you know? I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, that's a one hit. He's a, he's a shotgunner. So if you're close to him, he'll hit you for like double or triple. Ooh. Yeah, this 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 game is not nice at the end of the game. Yeah, so if you play this game casually, I highly recommend you play the Japanese version. Um, but if you don't want if you don't want to deal with reading Japanese, um, then wait, can I get wings actually? Let's get wings for safety. Probably a good idea. Yeah, it's a marathon. No, it's the wrong one. I need to go into the other place. I don't normally do this. Like I said, this is a marathon, so I'm doing marathon strats. I'm gonna set my death point to here. So if I die, I'm not gonna spawn like. No, it's not him. It's... Where are you? I never come in here, so... Yeah. Yes. Yes. Please. Set my death point. Okay, so if I die now, I won't lose one hour. <laughs> yeah. Well, this, uh, I think that's a pretty good... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think, think that's a great place to take a little... Take a little talk to the NPC. Take a little sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ju just in case, you know, I die to something. Because there are things that can kill me in, like, two hits coming up. So I think that's a pretty valid place for a safe Yeah, start. yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got, a, we've got a schedule and stuff uh, to, to, to keep up to. So, you know, probably, yeah. probably best not to lose an hour. <laughs> yeah, so if I die there, I spawn all the way back at the other place I rested at. Which is... Uh, before the first cave in the game. So uh, we basically do all of that all over again, just without the boss fights. That was an hour and 20 minutes ago, <laughs> just to give you context of how far ago that was. So I kind of don't want to go back there. I mean, you know, extra Quest 64 content. Oh. We, have, we have another shot at getting the banger piano tune. Oh God, not that desperate for it. <laughs> <laughs> he, can, he can have his solo another just, day. Just, just, just listen to it online. Please pick it up, <laughs> the hitboxes sometimes. Oh, jeez. Yeah, good thing I remembered that, because if I died, I would have been very upset. Yeah. All right. So we're coming up to this cave. Um, this cave has an enemy called Rocky, and every time I see one, every turn is 10 seconds lost. So in this cave, we're going to approach it very differently to how we deal with the encounters. We want to maximize every fight, how far we walk. So this is a great example. We're going to use these fish right here. We're going to walk towards them on purpose. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. So this is scary. They can shock on me. But what I did there was I, I got a lot of distance in that fight. So um, because I got distance in that fight, it means less encounters, right? In theory, because you've moved further in the cave. So you have less to, less to travel distance overall. Yeah. Um, because we want to get as minimal Rockies as possible. So anything to reduce Rockies, very good. Basically, any, any encounter that isn't a Rocky. Yeah. You use that to gain free. Oh, I still have boots. I didn't use the boots to start a run. Nice. I can use that as well now as well to save um, a Rocky fight. I forgot about that. Normally I use boots uh, really early in the run. Speak of the hey. Watch how slow this guy is. It's pretty painful. Oh my god. He also hits you like a truck. He's a cute little guy, but... Yeah. yeah. So if I failed a scape that I would have lost 10 seconds. And uh, yeah, it's only 10 seconds. You can lose minutes. <laughs> if they keep, keep appearing, it, it becomes minutes very fast. So, watch, so here I'm going to get the... the burr, I'm going to use one more turn. Oh, never mind. I want to get one more turn there so I can walk even further outside the circle on purpose. So unlike earlier, like earlier in the game, I'm trying to get out of the fights as fast as possible. In this area, I'm trying to get as far as I can in the circle within reason. So if an enemy is strong, I'm not going to run into them and suicide. But these guys are very weak. So what I can do here is I can take advantage of that. I wasn't meant to get hit there, but it's fine. You're going to see them do a stupid attack that goes eh. That lets me go really far off in the circle. 
We'll basically try and do that every single fight, if we can. Do I have a flute? I do. Okay, this is good. So I'm going to free silence these guys on purpose. I'm going to run through them. Normally these guys are really scary. And they can kill you in like two hits, but not anymore. So you can see I'm maximizing it. I'm going really far yep. in the circle. I'm taking full advantage of this. And there I just skipped like two potential encounters and lost no time for it. So that's a good way to use the flu in this game. But a flu can also just save you from dying, so... You know, you can just yeah. silence any enemy in the game apart from bosses. It's as effects pretty useful. Still got the boots, and I get another boots as well later on, so that's awesome. So here you're going to see a different enemy potentially appear. There's a lion. Hey! <laughs> this guy hits you very hard. Blame me. Thank God. Nice. This guy hits you for like 60, and he has huge range, and you're meant to circle around him. He's one of the weirdest enemies in the game for that. There's also red wyverns here, the red dragon enemies, and they're shotgunners. And if you're close to them, they can hit you for one, over 100 damage. So it can be pretty scary. That's a very good encounter. I'm right at the edge. But most it's going to be two turns. That's fine. Going to hurt me though. Nice. I'm getting nice. very lucky there. The Rockies have been... This has been a great cave. So my PB lost like six minutes here. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got loads of Rockies and I just couldn't escape from them. So this is going great. So far. So, so far we had two Rockies. I think my PB got 16. Yeah, so that's a lot of time loss. How far through the cave are we now? Uh, one third. Okay, oh wow. Yeah, so that's it's going pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth. So even though I can escape one, like potentially one turn, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to run as far as I can through them on purpose. Now I'm going to start escaping. No, oh, because I failed that one, I'm actually just going to run through the whole thing instead. you got to get good at dodging attacks. And it helps a lot. I'm going to maximize it. Like so, I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna walk to the edge and heal. So what I did was like maximize it and also healed at the end to save time on healing. So, you know, two birds with one stone now. So that was really that was really well executed. Like super good escape, uh, run through fight. And it's not even that slow. Like the uh, attacks don't take very long either, so yeah. it's really oh, good. Definitely way quicker than the Rockies. Yeah, the Rockies. You can see how slow they are, so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the attack itself is quite fast, it's just the amount of time Rocky takes uh, to decide to do the attack. That was very lucky. He spawned, they spawned right in my face, and the wrong the wrong one attacked me there. <laughs> that could have been like 100 damage. Oof. Cool. Very lucky cave so far. Oh, oh. never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. The double. Is he going to get close to me? Yes, he is. Okay, so this is not the, as bad as it usually would be, so watch this. Um... So I actually do have an item to get away from this. I'm going to get away with it because it could be a free turn. I'm going to use an item called a replica, uh, which is here. And this always guarantees an escape. So sometimes it's, it's if you spawn in the middle of a rocky fight, it's worth using your replica there. All right, so this is an example of me using the boots. So I want to get through this faster and save a little bit of time. It's fine. Please get out of the way. Oh, he canceled my boots. Oh, that's unlucky. Oh. Unlucky. All right, never mind then. Yeah, he canceled my boots. <laughs> That's fine. Sometimes uh, if you get hit by certain attacks, it despells your items. That's unfortunate. Uh -huh. So what the boots does is it doubles your radius and where you can walk. So you can run through fights faster. Yeah. Yeah. But that was un unfortunate. I got hit when I didn't want to. Rocky 4? Rocky's making a new movie. Is he yeah. in the Rocky 4? Ow. Oh, no ice knife. Nope. Spaghetti. <laughs> Ah, oh, the RNG minute didn't fail, man. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, you tried it. It's a valiant effort. So slow. Ow. Oh, that's an ouch. Yeah. You can always take two hits in this round, so it's not too bad. Just small free MP, you know? Yeah. <laughs> not a big deal. Up to 23 now. The Rocky 4. Cheers, Rocky. Coming up to the last sections of the cave. Rocky 4 bonus It's damage. been a great cave. So much better, my PV. Nice. I love that sound. So here you get the red wyverns as well. They're, they're more likely to appear here with some fish. They normally spawn. Not you! Ugh. 
I'd rather see the red, red wyvern. wyvern. I want to show you guys, but I don't want to show you guys already because they can't no. kill me. <laughs> there. Good. One ton, one ton Rocky is always good. So five Rockies so far? Uh, yeah, five counts. Anyone want to donate one dollar per Rocky? The six? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you, if Quality you're, meme. If you keep it up with the Rocky challenge. Oh, jeez. Oh, make sure in your donation so comment, you, you name yeah. the Rocky movie. There's six Rocky encounters so far. Wait. Ow. That's fine. The next one goes... Err. No, not rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy yeah. to press the move early in this game when spamming heals, like chaining them. That, that happens a lot. Oh, too early. Yep. Alright, we're coming up to the last corridor, which takes about two minutes, and then we get to the boss. And then we're at the, neck at the end of the game. We're literally at the end of the game. We're so close. Rocky 6. Is it 6? 7? Okay. Yeah. Rocky oh, that's a bad one. I can't even escape with the chest. Mm. I might have to use an item here. <sighs> Don't like that. Mm. I think I have to use a healing item for safety. Please escape. Oh my god, it actually says... Oof. I'm gonna heal just in case. Yeah. There's a chance I could like move out of the escape circle there. And I would have died. Dude, hello? It's shown an exclamation mark. Open the chest, please. <laughs> What's going on? I'm just gonna open this one first. I have no idea what's going on right now. Hello? <laughs> the hitbox yep. is being weird. That's never happened to me, actually, ironically. Oh, look who it hey. is. He's getting blocked by the fish. The homie fish. <laughs> if that happens, he doesn't hit you. It's really rare um, that he actually hits you in those scenarios with the fish, because the, the fish always just blocks him. But that guy can hit you for like 100 damage. Uh, this is not the boots encounter, so I'm just going to run away. There are some encounters I want to run through using the boots. Good encounter. This is one of them, but the problem is if I use the boots here, it's likely to... Um... Like to get dispelled. Yeah, exactly. Time for a little message? Yeah, go for it. So there currently is no cure for Alzheimer's disease. That's mainly why we're also raising funds for them to hopefully find a cure one day and rid the world of this horrible disease. But treatments or current treatments can slow the worsening of the dementia symptoms and can improve the quality of life for those with, Alzheim with Alzheimer's and their caregivers. I'm gonna go for it. I gotta dodge the. Nice. See, you can see the difference. Yeah. It's huge. It's huge. Yeah. Yeah, nice. I'm gonna take full advantage of this here. So I'm gonna stop here on purpose. I'm gonna make the extra distance at the end on the boots as well. So that, that skipped like a potential two fights. Yeah, yeah. It's so worth it. Especially here. You can see how much time the Rocky loses. Oh, in comparison. God, yeah. If you get, if, especially if you get one in the corridor and it's in the wrong position. <laughs> Is just this has been a fantastic cave though. Like, was there only seven rocky encounters so far? Mm -hmm. And uh, I haven't had to heal too much. And I keep getting magma fish, which is so rare. I'm just going to escape now. Nice. Yeah, just, yep. I've already had enough run throughs. I think I'm going to just. Yeah, I haven't got many rockies, so why not? Yeah. Yeah, this has been really, really good. Oh, pfft. Oh. Should have done it. <laughs> Locking the I got punished like right away. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm just going to do something different. Yeah, yeah. Instantly got rocky. Oh, didn't get punished. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Never punished. <laughs> Classic. Never I punished. I mean, the, the Rockies even attack quickly, so... Weird. Rocky 8 is not punishing. That's in front of me. I'm going to play safe. Fine. <laughs> That's the move the silence is, by the way. So if you try run through them and you don't succeed... Oh, we're at the boss already? With only, like, 8 Rockies? Wow. Ooh. This is very good. All right, so I'm gonna do a strat here to position myself. I'm gonna to walk to the right here, and I want him to approach me. Nice. Okay, this okay. is perfect. So I'm gonna hold up my controller. This is a position setup. And this is the best position for Avalanche right here. As you can see, I'm hitting him a lot. Is it free? Wow, yeah. Yeah, this is a really good setup I made. 
This boss is also way weaker than the other bosses, but he can kill you if you get if you get unlucky. He can still kill you. Okay. Yeah, so I just don't move from this position because it's the golden position. It's like 98% chance to hit every time. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna see me do a greedy strat here because this guy is pathetic in comparison. <laughs> I'm gonna use confusion on him, like for every time, because this guy is generally not even worth using items on. If you can avoid it, please don't fail. Very nice. So he's gonna hit me next turn, no matter what. I'm gonna get a free spirit armor here, might as well. See, you only need 43 damage. It's like hilarious. Wow. And now back to the, the regular schedule. Dying to Fargo is like it feels bad, cause like. You get so if you lose the Fargo, it's like a mega low. <laughs> like low, you die to this guy. He sucks. So just a question: Is this guy doing less damage than those butterflies? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, right? This boss is really. But if he f if you're far away from me, he hits you for a lot of damage. But up close to him, he's like a joke. Um, I'm gonna go for another confusion. Gonna hit me here. I have to heal now, no matter what. That's fine. I mean, I got so much value out of this guy. Do I have any bread? Yes, I do. Yeah. Awesome. Waste the bread first, always. Go for barrier. Good to go. Good, great fight. Nice. Yeah. Even better if you don't use the item, but that's fine. Only one item. He's knee dead. Yeah, that's thank it you. Be beautiful fight. Nice. Very, very good fight. That's pretty much. I just saved like four minutes of my PB in this section. Like, that was so good. So this is a very good pace, like, ironically. Like, I'm probably like only like three or four minutes of world record while playing safe. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Yeah, actually a good run. Like, not much has gone wrong, honestly. Oh, don't jinx it. Well, I'm coming up to the, the scariest part of the run because this boss can kill me in two hits. So if, I, if my barrier fails twice on the next boss, it's Mayday. I'm gonna have to run away and pray he does his other attack because he always kills you in two hits. No matter, no matter your HP, no matter your defense, he is gonna kill you in two hits. That probably won't happen. So luckily the next part's pretty safe. You're very unlikely to die. Um, so pretty much it's just a boss battle from here. And we have safety items for the, the walkway to the final boss. So we should be okay. If we complete a run of this in a marathon, it'll be so awesome. Like it's so hard to complete this game. But you got you got to see all the new strats and set up for the bosses and how I deal with things. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I'm also gonna save in the last area for obvious reasons. I don't want to die and then go back to before that blue cave again. <laughs> no. Because I'm sure you don't want to see more Rockies. No. I mean maybe the stream does. <laughs> I don't want to see more Rockies. <laughs> I'm sure ESA doesn't want to see more Rockies right now. Unless maybe you got a big donation for him. <laughs> even then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even then, maybe not. <laughs> Maybe, maybe fifteen hundred dollars, and we'll consider showing you more Rockies. No, we'll consider it. No, consider it. No, think about the runners as well. <laughs> no, I find two thousand to think about it. No, three thousand. We'll Max the donation up. goal, like the whole thing, one hundred twenty-five thousand. I'll think about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're feeling generous on that one. Yeah, we'll consider it. Consider it. I love saying that. Like you're doing, it and you're like, yeah, I'll consider it. Yeah. Doesn't mean I will. Yeah. But I'll consider it. So here I'm only going to get two items. This is called a Spirit Light. It heals you to full health. I think that's the only one in the whole game. Or well, there's two, I can't remember. Um, they're really rare in this game, Spirit Lights. I used to think it was a random item, but I found out that was a full heal. I didn't know what it did until one of the runners told me. So I kept skipping it, thinking it was useless. And I was like, oh wait, did I just walk in a circle? Oh, no. Yes, I did. <laughs> Let's go. Final lap. Yeah. Ridge Racer over here. Sometimes I can't tell with the camera in that area. I just get trolled. All right, so here you're going to see an example of me hugging a wall. This is to skip all encounters here. You should never get an encounter here. So I'm going to hug this wall right here. Wall away. This skips all encounters in this area. You can get a rocket here and you can get this knight. It hits you with a lot of damage. But I'm just going to do this and get zero. There you go. Yeah. Skip. Awesome. Nice. Such a banger. This is, this is definitely high music at the end of the game. Oh, I do yeah. like it. So I'm going to enter here. I'm going to leave. I'm going to use my upgraded escape that I've got with my water now. Uh, it's going to teleport me back into that town to save a bit of time. You're going to see this right here. So I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to use escape 2. We'll return. I'm in the town. It saves a little bit of time. Cool. Uh, i got to find the inn. Where is the inn? The safety strats. Uh, I have no idea where it is. 
Ah, uh, I gotta look for it. <laughs> I know it's here somewhere. Uh... Dude, where is it? I might have to go in the houses and find it. I don't know where it is. I apologize, Chad. I did not find out what this was before the run. So you're gonna see me walk into some buildings. I think it might be the one on the left. That it? That's not in. No, that's not in. I think I know where it is. I'm just gonna take like a small time loss here to guarantee the run finishing. I think this is the inn because it has the items inside. No, that's not the inn. That's this has M an MP item inside. <sighs> Where's the inn in this town? I know there is one. I swear there is. Is there not? I swear there is. I guess there isn't. Okay, I'm wasting time. My bad then. All right, ignore me. I guess if I die, I'm just screwed. <laughs> Oh, you can't go this way. Ah! Oh, no. Spaghetti. <laughs> I just wanted to find the inn. Just waste like 30 seconds running around like a muppet. Is there like a specific symbol for the inn? Yeah, there's normally a symbol, but I don't see it in this town. I don't think there is one. Oh, it's got bears. There's a bear. That's not the inn. <laughs> I'm looking for the one with the counter. I don't think there is one, actually. No, wait. Is now, that not it? Is that? Oh, it's here. Thank oh, there you go. Oh, thank you. Okay, okay. There is one. Um, It's... The house is similar, isn't it? I just want to see what it gives me as well, actually. Oh, it gives you an item. Cool, I'll take that. <laughs> I don't know what he gave me, but <laughs> it's an item. It's something. I'm learning. I'll just check my round. I want to see what that is, actually. Here it is. So, no, not you. <laughs> Where are you? Yeah. Like I said, I don't normally do this in runs. This is obviously a time loss that you don't need to do. You just go, you just send it. All right, so now if we die, we end up here. Thank God I look for that. Mm. I'm very glad I look for that because, you know, obviously this is a marathon and the wrong way. I don't want to be stupid. All right, cool. So respect the decision there. This is a marathon run. Obviously, yeah. I have no idea what that is because I would never go there otherwise. But I know I have to get it. So, all right, cool. So if I die here, I lose like five minutes. It's not that bad. No big deal. But it will be hard to win because I'll have less items. So it might be over anyway. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, rare encounter, by the way. Normally, you get no encounter there. Okay. So I'm hugging the wall here. Again, same reason. No encounters. That's an impressive looking palace. Oh, it yeah. is. Yeah, I like the last part of this game. It looks really cool. And you don't want to see how much damage those guys hit me for. They hit you for a lot of damage. Because, <laughs> you know, it's the end of the game, of course. Yeah, yeah. I love, I love how uh, impressive and imposing the palace is when stacked up against your little child with his mini cape. We're actually going to the back door of the palace, which skips a bunch of it. <laughs> I don't know why it's even there. I feel like it's kind of like cheesy. Deliveries. Yeah. There's also a spirit around the corner as well, if you want to find a spirit. But we don't need it. <laughs> Alright. That's really early. That's fine. They're really far away, so we're going to get the... Eh. No big deal. Eh. Okay, so here... Um, this section of the game, even the task cannot manipulate the RNG of the encounters. It's always different. Well, you can, you can obviously from like a frame, like a frame perspective of a task, but yeah. it would take a lot more time for a task to manipulate the RNG because it wouldn't be the same every time. So it's quite hard. There was like a theory test made for the uh, any percent uh, speedrun of this game recently, which is like 56 minutes or something. Uh, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> I don't know if it's up on YouTube yet, but I highlighted it on my channel if you want to see it with commentary. It's pretty funny. On my Twitch channel, that is. So you get to see all the crazy clipping out of the bounds and the jersey glitch and nonsense. And they also escape the frame the, the, the encounter starts. It's really funny to watch. So you don't even get to see the enemy attack. You just escape within a frame. Tasses are ridiculous. Ow. That hurt. Don't do that again. <laughs> funny health. We're gonna pick up. I'm going to pick up this chest <laughs> after, after this encounter. After, yeah, after Simmery. There we go. Inside this room is also a spirit, but again, I don't need it because I have enough damage. But you can round them in, so you lose like, like up to like 15 to 30 seconds to get some extra spirits here and there. So you can reduce the amount of rocks you need to hit on the bosses by a little bit. But you could also just spray the extra rock hits. So it's up to you how you want to run the game. You can lose like a bit of time collecting things for one less hit. 
or you can just go for the extra hit. Either way, both are rather the same. Yeah. It dep just depends how you want to run the game. Because in theory, neither of them is safer. It just depends on the RNG anyway. Like, one hit less is always good, of course. Less RNG, but you're spending time to do it. So in yeah, essence, yeah. you could just use that and time got, to fight anyway. Yeah, and you've got to build that up as well, I guess, rather than... Uh, yeah. yeah, it takes a few of them. It's not just one. So it's a bunch of time losses to save time later. So it's up to you. I, don't, I personally don't get them because I think there's, plen there's plenty in the route already. Yeah. But Scholar D, the other guy, gets uh, like five extra spirits or so. So... I mean, it sounds like, uh, I like a style thing. School of D, sorry. I always say his name wrong. It's School of D. I apologize for botching your name. I always botch your name on stream. You say nothing. You just let me get away with it. <laughs> I'm not bullying you, I promise. <laughs> He's bullying you. I kind of like saying School of D, though. If you're being bullied, you can reach out for help. <laughs> My shoulder's always here. <laughs> if you need a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sailing right behind <laughs> Like a bridge Alright, here we go I, I need some time This is the hardest boss in the game okay. This is actually the hardest boss in the game Alright, please do not fail barrier Okay, good start Damn. Do not fail barrier a single time Or it's going to be a train Okay, so you walk forward to me I just take one step It's so hard. There we go. I got it. It's really precise where you want to stand in this game, trust me. It's for the right percentages. Okay, I think I'm actually too close, but... Don't fail twice. Okay, yep. Do not fail twice, please. No! I'm in danger. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh. Alright, I gotta run away for obvious reasons. You can see yeah, how much yeah, you yeah, just hit yeah, me yeah, for. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do the other attack, please. Yes, good, 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 good. Alright, we're back. We're back in safety. Oh god, this boss, dude. <laughs> You can see, it, now my whole setup's messed up. Now I have to figure out where to stand. Yeah. As you can see, this boss is not fun. All right, marathon strats. So we heal now. He will kill me. So that's unfortunate. But luckily, we have extra items. Yeah. Good. Okay, thankfully, we got out of that situation. That could have gone very bad. This boss can walk up to you from half the map array. If he, if he, wants, if he wants to troll you, he will do it. Okay, good. Two. This boss takes about 26 hits. He has a lot of HP. He does not mess about. Also, I'm too close to him. Okay, good. As long as that doesn't fail, I'm yeah, very, yeah. very happy. All right, I have to get it next turn, though. All right, whatever. Just use any of them. All right. Don't fail, please. Nice. Okay, good. Yep. <laughs> All right, back to normal schedule. Uh, I'm at the right distance. Good. Three, four, five. Nice. 21 more hits. Good. <laughs> please, please, game. Six, seven. I, I seem to be in a good spot because yeah. I'm hitting him. That's awesome. Nice. Eight, nine, ten. ten. Yep. That was a great time. Mm. So I'm going to play safe. So no, I have three mana left. So like, why don't you use another avalanche? Because I don't want to die. Yeah. <laughs> it's called being greedy. Yeah. Yeah. So there's yeah. no reason to be greedy on this boss. punishes greedy. Never be greedy on this boss. You, it will just end your run. Like, oh, my barrier fell next time. Well, GG, the run's dead. Like, it's not worth it. It really, really not worth it. Ooh. This is a great fight so far. Yeah. Good. Wow, this is a great position. I'm hitting him a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I must be in the golden position, like the 97% or something. Out of 100 chance to hit, so really high chance to hit. Wow. This is a great position. It's probably better than my PB, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Getting very lucky here. Theory crafting new safe strats for this game. Uh, I just got lucky with positioning, to be honest. It's, it's too precise to get every time. Yeah. So just for the record, what is your PB? Um, I think it's 218 or 219. So this is not going to be that far off, actually. Maybe like five minutes off. This is very good. For a marathon, especially yeah. with the safe strats I did. This is very impressive. Like top five leaderboard time in a marathon. I think he's got like 10 more hits. 
Maybe not even, actually. It'll be, it'll be less than that, I think. He's 25 in total. Yeah, something like that. It's a lot of hits. Double miss. That's, yeah. That means I hit him, but the yeah, game yeah. just says no. no it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Good luck. Okay. Um, How many MPIs? I need to make a decision soon. One, two... Three? I still got three, so we, it's fine to use it. I need to I need to be careful of MP items uh, for the end of the game. So I need to be able to finish the game. So should be fine. That was a bad one. Jeez, <laughs> just one. I want a refund. Yeah. Nah, it's even worse when it hits zero. <laughs> yeah, true. When it hits zero, you just want to cry. It's like man. Or when it hits three, the water rocks like go to the side of him. I thought it was going to be zero. Yeah. <laughs> the rocks will drop into the side. <laughs> as long as I hit him, I'm always happy. Like, when you hit him five times, you're very happy. Yeah, yeah. He's he's not too far from dying, though. Oh, this is a good one. That's just two. Do I go for one? How many items do I have still? Two. I have a lot of HP items. I could take a small risk, but it could backfire. I think I'm going to take the small risk. Do it. Yeah, I'm gonna take a small risk here actually. To make sure I complete the run. Okay, it's paying off. Nice. I got very lucky there. Okay, what is he doing? Huh? Been walking. I swear, if I soft logged there, I would have laughed. <laughs> I actually would have laughed. Please hit him at least once. Oh no. Alright, he's gonna hit me here for sure. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna heal again. I'm gonna run away from him, so I might be okay. Is he walking up to me? He is. Yeah. He is. No, he did oh, right. We're good, okay. we're good. We're yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. We're good. Nice. Okay. Right. So I saved an MPI, so we should be able to beat the game very easily now. That's awesome. I'll do that again. Nice. Um, it should be about here to hit him. Okay, good. Yeah. He's he's nearly dead. I would like to heal, to be honest. Um I should use another healing item just to make sure I don't die here. It's not worth it. <laughs> if I die here, the run the run's probably over. It's honestly not worth it. Okay, now we can just go ham. He's not too far from dying. Yes! yes! I beat the hottest boss in the game. Nice, dude. Awesome. I, I'm very happy. All right, we're probably going to beat the marathon run. That's crazy. Awesome. Brilliant. That was very well executed. Like, decision making was on point. Whew. I actually won. It's okay. great. You weren't even greedy either. I wasn't greedy anywhere. Well, the confusion was greedy, but uh, uh, I kind of want the item. risk, I think, that one. I knew he was low health, so mm. taking a small risk there with all the HP items I had wasn't this. You're going to see how much damage this guy does now. <laughs> <laughs> they don't mess I about. Thought, I thought. <laughs> they don't mess about. I know. Yeah. I thought the deadly boss was the thing in the upper chamber. That's not that bad. There's an enemy that hits for you 150 coming up later. Okay. Sure. It hits more than the boss. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that sounds reasonable. Okay, so oh, we, get, we get some items here. We're going to get three more items for the next boss. Oh, whoops, nice camera. So we're pretty safe to go. We got like three MP items or four now and like a million HP items. So we're going to beat the game. Unless I be greedy, which I'm not going to do. So don't worry. <clears throat> Chad, if you donate $1,000 now, he will consider maybe perhaps possibly being greedy. No. Or will he? No, I want to finish the game. I really want to finish the game at this point. It's not worth it. Or is it? No. It's... No, let's nah. finish the game. <laughs> Alright, so world record's already passed. Um, there's about like seven minutes left in the run at this point. This is still a very impressive run for a marathon. So, mm. Just being able to complete the game in a marathon is a blessing. Like anything could have made me lose like 20 minutes. So just getting as far as like, thank God. Always happy. Like most runners will just run the Japanese version of the marathon for obvious reasons. It's a lot yeah, safer. Yeah, yeah. Those fools. They don't have your strength of character. It's just less exciting. Yeah. I like the thrill of being killed in two hits. <laughs> <laughs> Stressing every two seconds. Yeah. I love this camera. I can't see what I'm doing. Two and a half hour run that might fail. Getting two items here. That's it. One HP and one uh, MP item. This guy just appears out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> bum, bum. Dun, 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 dun. It's 
surprised he didn't do the attack there. He was yeah, so close yeah, to me. Like right next to you. Nice. Two turn. A free turn, but whatever. Still fast. <clears throat> If I save a turn, nope, I'm lucky. At this point in the run, you might as well try. <laughs> nice free step encounter, the classic. Yeah. That's a game please moment. Another door. This is a really pointless room that has nothing in it. Well, it has chests in it, but the items are garbage. So they give you useless items at the end of the game. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a lore room, yeah. I guess. You want to yeah, yeah, read yeah. some lore. What's going on here? Yeah, it's definitely looks like some NPCs want to chat too. Oh, he's going for a walk. I thought he was going to hit oh, me. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they walk all the way up to you. And it's just like, why? <laughs> to see the look on your face. The, what, the disappointment? Yeah. All right, that, here we go. Look. We're coming to Bages. Ooh. This guy has also a very, very tiny hitbox. All right, here we go. Good. As long as I don't fail that turn one, I'm always happy. So here you're going to see me use the boots during the fight. It's a little bit different. It saves a turn to get up to him, so why not? Oh, that's good. I like seeing that. I always love seeing him walk up to me there. All right, do it again, please. Be a good boy. Yes. yes. Okay, that's great. So now he's in the easy spot to hit. So all I have to do here is line up with this carpet right here on the corner like around here, and I start hitting him. There we go. I'm in the right position. Yep. I'm hitting him a lot. So I have like a really high chance of hitting him here. I know you can't see much. I apologize. Mm -hmm. Just enjoy the, um, the, the pillar. I mean, I could just yeah. hold a button to show you guys what's going on. Oh, no. No mind the lags. <laughs> it lags pretty bad. Yeah. I guess I won't show you what's going on. All right. So this boss doesn't hit you for too much. He could potentially two-shot me. I'm going to go for one more confusion. It'll be the last one of the run. Um, okay, that's fine. Let's go for it again. Ow. Uh, 84 is a good damage. Nice. Sweet. All right, we're pretty safe. Any here in this boss is good. Because he doesn't have too much HP, and um, he's really tiny, so hitting him is always good. I apologize for this, GI. I, I know you'd love to see this boss right now. Um, you can see the numbers. I know you guys love math, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you all counted up at home? Math is cool. All the, kid, all the cool kids love math. Oh, yeah. This just keeps it more mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> um... It's like, it's like one of those cartoons and every, all, the, all the action's just hiding behind a big dust cloud. I've got plenty of items now, so I'm just going to use one. Yeah. I've got an extra free MP from the confusion, so... Yeah, we're good to go. Nice. I'm in the right position for sure. Like, as long as you get within like two hits every turn, this guy, it's always good. Even if you miss one, like, that means you hit him, so... Yeah. It yeah. means you're in the right spot. Like, maybe I can move a pixel to get, like, a 1% higher chance to hit him, but it's, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Once you get the right position, like, you should just stay there always. Dude, nice. Uh, no, like, big hits. Sometimes you hit him, like, four times and you pop off. Um, do I go for... I don't want to die, to be honest. Um... I got an idea. Uh oh. 91. That is Monka. Um, I'm going to use a healing gun for obvious reasons. Yep. That's fine. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to save one more item so I can go ham on the final boss and do it really quickly. Alright, we're good. A little bit greedy, but. I just want to get, you know, more MP items, always yeah, good. Yeah. I can just go super ham on the final boss now, so it's worth it. This guy shouldn't be far from dying. Yeah, there, yeah, there he goes. All right, final boss. Awesome. Sick. I'm actually making it to the final boss in the marathon. I cannot <laughs> believe this. If you watch my stream, you'll know not many runs get this far. <laughs> 
<laughs> just getting past guilty alone is a blessing to any runner of this game. So the music goes quiet here. There's no more encounters. Um, the next area has enemies that can just kill you in two hits. But we have plenty of safety items. So we're not going to die to them. Unless I'd be really stupid and miss him. But, but we should be fine. Um, it's the same in the run. We always have like one or two safety items for this section alone. Because you can just die. But, and like there's two specific enemies that just hit you super hard. You have to speak to this guy or else the portal doesn't spawn. Alright. Last section of the game. Let's go. Alright, this part is extremely scary. I'm going to be hugging a bunch of walls on purpose here to avoid encounters. I should not get an encounters from no matter what I do. So I'm going to hug this wall right here. This gives me no encounters. I'm just going to keep hugging it all the way to this door. Like I said, there are enemies that can kill me in two hits here. So I do not want to mess them out no matter what. Um, this room has no encounters. Um, you know, if you like blue and yellow squares, it's pretty. Yeah. It's pretty cool, though. I mean, I mean, this is just the the, the final stage of uh, Super Mario 64, right? Yeah. For some reason, the devs just put these like square rooms, and all Twitch chat does, and when you get runs this far, it's just shove like blue and yellow squares in the chat as a meme, <laughs> or like whatever color the floor is, and they're just memeing about it. It just looks funny seeing chat full of squares of different colors. It's got this like really eerie music for this section as well. The last boss is going to be pretty easy, unless like I fail a barrier twice again. Because I have I have like 3 MP items, so I'm super safe to win. And I have like 5 HP items. I wonder what that I, the hotel thing gave me though. I didn't really check. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder what that building gave I have no idea what item he gave me. I guess we'll never know. I'll just ask Skull, do you want to get back? Did he just backtrack? Uh, this whole section is like meant to show you the places you visited in the past. This part has an, an encounter you cannot skip. It's right here on this section. It can come up at any time. Okay, no encounter. That's nice. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's one of the ones you can't skip and it's extremely scary. So this one here, you just want to hug this wall. No, wait, it's the wrong wall. It's the other wall. No, I made a mistake. I might get an encounter. Uh, I think we're okay. I was... I'm probably going to get an encounter. You're meant to hug the right wall in this room, I forgot. I just watched the task recently, I should know better. We might get an encounter right here. Yep, this is the guy oh. that kills you in two hits. This guy does not mess about. Watch the damage he does. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't want to deal with you. Yeah. Yeah, you can see why we use those. Yeah. Um, yeah, that... You're not surviving two times of that thing. No. <laughs> Thank goodness that wasn't the unskippable one. Uh, they're all skippable, but as long as you have items. Ah. Yeah. Uh, this room also should be able to skip encounters. Uh, same kind of theory as the first room. You just hug the walls. Actually, wait, no. This room, I don't think you can, actually. Yeah, this room you can't. Never mind. Oh, God, again. I think I have one more replica. Jeez. I do. Okay. No more, please. No more. No more. No more. No more of those guys. I do not want to see another one. I just have to dig for my arms and pray. I mean, I can just heal like every yeah, time yeah, as I yeah. move, but ideally, I think that's the last encounter we're going to see anyway. Jeez. I mean, at least you got to see it. <laughs> I don't want to see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I feel my, my own personal experience has been enriched. Yeah. I'm sure Twitch, I love seeing it. Mm. Oh, yeah, Twitch would have a field day. Hmm? Oh, I got an encounter. I'm surprised. Maybe it is the right side only in this room as well. These guys don't hit you anywhere near as hard. These guys are not a big deal. Oh, I can't escape. That's fine though. Is he gonna hit me? Boom. He just punches you. <laughs> like there's one thing that hits you for like 150 and you just got that guy who just punches you. It's like... Yep. The comparison is like, why is this guy even here? This is meant to be an end game enemy. He hits you for 30 damage. So here's the ship, the only part where you don't go backwards, you have to go forwards. A bit tricky. Hey look, blue and yellow, my favorite. <laughs> In real uh, deja vu vibe right now. <laughs> Such a weird room. 
The background's all like chaotic, like electric sparks everywhere. This is the place in your nightmares. <laughs> Blue and yellow squares everywhere. No. 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 I'm remembering now. Ah, it was there in my memory. I think I once saw a red square. <laughs> there is no red squares. Don't say that. You ain't been there, man. You ain't been there. I have been there. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, if I died in this game, I definitely would have gone over Esther. I got very, I mean, I I played safe, so we got pretty close, close to the Esther for sure. This is not a bad run. So we go backwards here. This is gonna put us inside the town, the really creepy town, from the beginning of the game actually. And we're gonna leave the town by the gate. Coming up to the end. It's been a journey. Ooh. Oh, whoops. Do not fight something here, please. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> Had enough uh, getting hit for 150 HP from one enemy. Thank yeah, yeah, that. that's... Um... Okay, we're good. Alright. Come on to the final boss. Let's go. Here we go. All right, this boss has a banger soundtrack. You can actually approach the boss down here if you want to do, but it's extremely difficult and no one's done it in a run. But we're gonna pretty much hug this wall all the way until about here. Like so. We're gonna walk up to him. We're gonna use barrier. Good, it worked. Very nice. Yes. I'm gonna hold up until we get stuck. Right here. This puts me in a 100% hit scenario. It should be, right? Yeah, see how much I'm hitting him? I'm just going to make sure I'm in the spot by redoing it one more time. Yeah, it's it. Okay. All right. Banger soundtrack. Get to enjoy it while we just use this over and over. Definitely. So that was three misses and one hit. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. That's the most laggy move ever. Oh, it's so giant, giant fire squares, man. Yeah, yeah. You don't want him to do that attack. It's super laggy. Oh, oh big hit. Oh, oh, that was like oh. five or six hits. Jeez, that was a juicy one. Yes. So you can see why position matters a lot. Like, when you position really well in this game, you get a lot of hits. Oh, I just made a little mistake. Actually, no, I didn't make a mistake because I have a million items. Never mind. Ignore me. Yeah. I forgot I have so many items I can just use <laughs> item early. It was like, what's that MP? Oh, yeah. no big deal. Go for beast. Yeah. Even if barrier fails, I have so many items because I played safe in this run. That was two hits and three misses. <laughs> this music is so good, though. No, don't use fireball. <laughs> Level one fireball. Yeah, probably not. That was three hits, I think. As you can see, Barry is very broken in this game. Yeah. But if it fails, you you're so vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's very much a save or suck spell. <laughs> the miss out. I've missed those. Should I have two more MP items? Oh, well, I, got, I got like three. Yeah, Jeez. yeah, loads. I got so many. I'm going to use this to max out though. I, I went overboard. I could have just not used confusion on the previous boss. I just wanted to be safe. I could have just gone ham on guilt, guilty earlier, actually, in that case. Quite possibly, if, yeah. I just wasn't sure. Right, this guy's nearly dead, uh, actually. This... That was like five hits again. Yeah, yeah. And several misses, two misses. A good boss fight. The bigger they are, the more giant rocks hit them. The harder they fall. Wow. Wow. That was a big turn. Yeah. Jeez. He's nearly dead. I think he's like five away. I might go for a double avalanche here. We're doing pretty good on items. Yeah. Why not? Yep, three misses. <laughs> Yet again. I'm going to take a little risk here. Fun. Go, 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 go. Real. Ooh. 
Oh. Yes! Nice. GG. That's time. Good run. Very good run. I can't believe we beat Quest 64 US in the marathon. This is extremely <laughs> unsafe for marathon, as you can see. Yeah, yeah. But I did it, so let's go. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Cool. Thank you for letting me do this. I just want to say shout out to Big John, by the way. This was meant to be a slot. Um, it's unfortunate you couldn't get here, but hope you're all good. And Big John's trying to help a little bit as well towards this, so thank you, Big John. And uh, again, shout out to the community. Thank you uh, for helping me run this game. You guys are all supportive. If anyone wants to try this game, hit them up. Maybe even ask me if you want to. Um, like, if you want to run this game, don't be greedy when you first run it. It's not worth it. Um, it's better to learn how the game works first, like with safe strats, just so you can understand how to save time with optimizations. Then you can start making more greedy options once you understand what's worth and what's not worth. Yeah. Um, we got time for a quick donation as well. Go for it. Well, yeah. I'm going to leave the donation for the next reader because this is actually the end of my shift. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, no so worries. Thank you, Fuzzy. Thank you, Robo Sparkle. And yeah. I can't believe you finished the run. It's it awesome. was so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. And thanks, everyone, for donating. Also, just make sure you tune in for the last run of the marathon. It's going to be a big relay of uh, Odyssey. Yes. Uh, where every single runner will have an individual moon. Um, well, just over halfway field on the moons, but we're trying to get more runners. So if you're here at ESA in the hotel room listening, please sign up. I yeah, beg you. More, <laughs> more, um, more runners. Some of them, some of the moons are like super easy. You don't need to be experienced at Mario Odyssey. Yeah. I don't run Mario Odyssey. I've only played it casually. I'm doing one of the moons, uh, sort of meeting difficulty. So uh, there's complex moons, there's simple moons, there's everything in between. And I got a surprise at the end of the run. I'm going to go for the hardest round in the game. So <laughs> if you've never seen it, definitely watch it. Again, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Fuzziness, twitch.tv slash Fuzziness. Got Robo Sparkle. Sparkle. Stream sometimes. Yeah. In yeah. theory. In theory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will again one day. Thank you for watching. And yeah, uh, good luck to the next runner. Uh, got Darksiders 2 next. Oh, right. There we go. Thank so, you guys uh, so much. Cool.